If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, themed shows, program guides and jewelry maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. How are you doing? Hello, my friends, as my cup says. Hello. Uh, very nice to have you company this evening. My name is Ruth Lynette. Going to take you through the next four hours with the lovely evening crew that are ready to go. Just about the best crew, I've just been told by Adam. Apparently, I'm Becky. Apparently, I've, I've, that's what I've, they are my direction producer, so I'll go with it. Uh, we also have Leah on camera, so we can't have it all. But we've got... <laughs> and there's the lovely Adam. Adam's on floor. We've got it all tonight as well because, ladies and jelly spoons, we've got the lovely Katie B. Hello. In... Oh, hello. What was that? Was that a... I was meant to be a cheer. <laughs> could have been worse. Could have been worse. Yeah, been reprogrammed. Been worse. Hey, uh, new year, new uh, new sound effects, and uh, new obviously on Freeview this evening. She's very exciting. Twenty four hours a day. So very exciting. Lovely to have you with us this evening. If you are tuning in still. Uh, on Freeview. Um, we, you've got us now, that's it, you've got us. And we have so many fabulous, fabulous deals for you. So spread the word, tell your friends, tell your family uh, to join us on Freeview 24 7. And uh, hello, mum, if my mum's got me, mum's been poorly, bless her. I'm a dad, both of them, yesterday, man down, nightmare. Not visiting them for a while, you know, unless I've got a mask. Um, we have some wonderful, wonderful deals, though, for you this evening. Uh, so let's show you what's coming up. We've got some fantastic, fantastic agate slices coming up. These are amazing. These are beautiful. Now, these are coming up for you at 6.45. They are fab. You've got some lovely, lovely colours in here as well, actually. Some gorgeous blues, greens, oranges, wonderful, wonderful slices of agate. You can do some fabulous, fabulous things with those, that's for sure. So that's coming up at 6.45. Then a little bit later at half past seven. Now, this is kind of... We've, we've been waiting for this. When we were putting the show together a little bit earlier on, this wasn't there. It wasn't in the show. Becky did a bit of wheeling and dealing and a bit of um, asking politely. And uh, they've been whisked down to us. So very, very exciting that we do have all of the flex right for you coming up tonight at 7.30. And between you and me and the gatepost, some of it's going under 10. It, it's uh, no word of a lie. Some of it's going under 10. So make sure you tune in for that at half past seven. And then a gemstone which I had never, ever heard of. Never. In fact, you know what? I might not tell you what it is. Oh, do 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 do. Whoa, mysterious gem. Text in if you think you've got an idea. There are some lovely kind of butterscotch colours in there. That gives you nothing. That's, that leads you down the wrong path. I'm just being naughty. Um, it's a fantastic, fantastic strand for you. Coming up as the one to own today at 8 o'clock. And we are talking something that was formed millions and millions and possibly even gazillions 
maybe not, of years ago. Um, almost as old as Leah. It's very old. Very old. Uh, <laughs> it's coming up. I know I'm older than you. I'm gazillions of years older. Um, so coming up for you today, the one to own. I won't, I won't you know, text in if you've, if you've got a bit of an idea. Send your text messages to us, as ever, between 8 and 10. Uh, between 8 and 10? Between 8 and 10? Yeah, obviously, that's, well, that's when we're live. Um, on to JJM Studio, 60777. Look, I warned you it was going to be a long night, Leah. <laughs> to 60777, normal standard network messages apply. We'll give you half an hour on that. Give you half an hour on that. Um, but we are going to get cracking, because there's loads and loads to do, so... Fantastic, that is. Right, let's dive into a right royal gem, quite frankly. A right royal gem still. Uh, it's beautiful. You've got some great colour in here. Passionate and purple. And it is a beauty. <laughs> Have a little look at this one. <laughs> Have a little look at that. Amethyst graduated faceted nuggets. Things are certainly hot in here today, so let's give you a lovely, gorgeous gem. It's because Hannah's been in, isn't it? Yeah. Hannah's been in with the air kind of roasty toasty. We'll, we'll, we'll turn that down a bit, don't you worry, Katie. Else we'll, be, we'll be doing a Wicked Witch of the West and melting. Um, 146 carats of amethyst, graduated faceted medium nuggets. And size-wise, you're talking 9 by 8 uh, to 17 by 13 mil on an 18 centimetre strand. I love this because you've got actually a little variety of colour shades going on on that as well. Got some beautiful, beautiful deep purples. You've got some lovely lighter hues in there as well. But it is, it's the classic, isn't it, Amethyst? Classic gemstone. I think anybody that's looking at that, if you're new to jewellery maker or if you're new to gemstones, you kind of could take a bit of a stab in the dark at that. You'd know what it would, would probably most likely be. Now, the good news is on that tonight, it should be £9.95. Not your price. We're going to see a lot of that tonight. It's not your price. We will give that to you at a much lower price. This is actually quite remarkable, to be fair. This is stunning when you consider what you can grab for this kind of amount of money. Uh, £6.95. And you could make yourself a crackingly glorious necklace. If you wanted to just keep all of those together, that would be a really big impact piece, wouldn't it? And yet you pay £6.95 for it. Pop it on a little bit of uh, threading material and that, or a little bit of chain link maybe on that, maybe sterling silver. I'm just going up and up and up. And that'd be incredible yeah. wouldn't oh, it amazing amazing but then used individually just maybe on a single ring yeah. that'd be amazing totally i mean you've got real sort of feature yeah. stones haven't you but at that price you could definitely get afford to go all out on that whereas sometimes you have to be a little bit more selective sometimes think oh okay i'm just going to kind of spread the wealth a bit don't have to on that uh, classic gorgeous gemstones they're all different shapes as well on those and you've got those lovely, lovely, lovely little tassels on there. Oh, it's, it's, it's a live one. It's a live one. 0806 444 655 and on the web if you want to get involved. It's super, super, super easy. And these kind of deals, if you are watching and you're thinking about doing this for the very first time, at a price point like that at 695, you only pay one set of postage and packaging throughout the entire day. You will also get two free strands of a uh, gemstone. I don't know what. It'll be picked at random. Um, if you are a brand new bidder, if you're shopping with us for the first time, so have a go. Six ninety for basically for, for six ninety five for your strand with your PMP for a ten pound note. Basically, uh, you get the chance to get this strand, two additional strands, and have a little look. Obviously, you'll probably want some threading material as well. We can sort you out on that as well. It's not a problem. Uh, but yeah, very well done indeed on that one. Congratulations if you're checking out on that. I've just remembered why I don't go for this chair now because it's got a squeak on. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> it sounds a bit like my, my bones squeaking. It's all right. It's all right. I'll just sit still. I'll just sit still. Um, 94 cap classic. Now this, I've got to say this with the amethyst, it's the most beautiful, beautiful combination. I'm just going to bring those back out. Look how they offset each other. That's lovely, isn't it? Oh, that's good. I'd just I pop like them it. all together and just make one necklace. Oh, beautiful. Really, yeah, I'd do a, a really, long sort of 13-inch yeah, really, yeah. on that. Very, very nice. Complimentary colours, complimentary tones. Uh, I, I do apologise, Katie. I feel like we sat down, said a quick hello, and then went straight into business. I feel like we've got lots okay. catching up to do. I'm enjoying myself. We've got four hours, haven't yeah, we? We've got four fine. hours to catch up on Christmas. Feels like a long time ago, that does. Um, <laughs> nine by eight to 18 by 14 mil. 18 centimetre strand, lovely colour on those. You've got this wonderful, slight, sort of opaque nature to the gemstone as well. So they're not totally translucent, but I wouldn't really expect them to be, to be fair. So lots of character in those. And it's meant to be a very calming stone, isn't it, Rose Quartz? Meant to be a really calming, sort of de stressing stone, depending on obviously what you believe. But I just love, I love pink gemstones, so that's 
always going to be a choice for me. You've got some lovely kind of ballet slipper tassels on there as well. They can make some rather lovely earrings or do with them what you shall. Uh, but again, amazing carrot weight, 94 carats. Uh, for 6 95 you might as well give them a shot. And if you are into using your rose quartz, you do love this gemstone, then you'll appreciate just how good that price is. Uh, whether you're adding them onto your order on the web or you're there on the phone lines, they just look so beautiful. And at 94 carats, I say that a little bit flippantly, that's massive. If somebody said, oh, I've got a 94 carat row of diamonds, you'd be like, really? Really? 94 carats of any gemstone is huge, really, isn't it? It's beautiful. Uh, first message in this evening is our lovely Hazel. Happy New Year to you, Ruth, and everyone at JM. Nice to see you on, your, uh, on our screens again. Ah, thank you, Hazel. Happy New Year to you as well, my lovely. Very nice to see you there. And Lynn in Devon, evening all. Is the mystery gemstone drops peanut wood jasper wreath? That's a really good guess, actually. That's a really good guess. I think that might be one of the closest that we'll get, but it's not right. It's not, I'll be really surprised if you guess that, because as I said, I've been working in gemstones for 11 odd years and I, I've never heard of it. Um, hello, Fab. I'm going to have to read it up there. I'm squinting here. Uh, hello, Fab team. Looking forward to the goodies on the show. Good to see you, Ruth. I hope you're wearing your seatbelt. Love to all. <laughs> yeah, CH. Oh, that's mysterious, isn't it? CH. Oh, who are you, CH? That's very oh, mysterious. Okay. Yes, I'm wearing this. I'm never going to live this down. We were speaking about this, weren't we? Never, ever going to live it down when I fell off my chair live on Jewelry Maker. Yeah. I was watching that actually just the other oh. day, reliving the shame. <laughs> But um, you watch it every day still, Leah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so six pounds <laughs> nine. I need to send it somewhere. I've got to make some money out of that. Uh, so thank you, CH, you mystery person. You. Uh, well done. Congratulations. Box number eight. Oh, we've got some wire. Memory wire. Always, always useful. I didn't realise, actually, I've got quite a lot of memory wire at home. I was having a good sort out over Christmas. Um, but it's so useful. So useful. And if I just show it to you kind of how it comes, if you like. Obviously, you get your little organza bag as well. So you've got the antique bronze finish on that. Um, you've got three very distinctive sizes. And, I mean, obviously, with a smaller size, I'd go straight away for, obviously, if you want to create your rings. Rings and wine glass charms, that sort of thing. And oh, of earrings, course. which you can use them as a loop put on an earring and, and yep. a drop from, from a, an earring finding. Yeah, and then if we move up a size, see, the, obviously the larger size I'm thinking more sort of um, talk necklaces and yeah, things like that. Yeah, talk necklaces and, and things, and then your bracelet size, but then again you could also use those for sort of attaching onto the, the, the larger ones, sort of hook, yep. and hooking them over and making kind of a scallop design. Mm, yeah. But it is really useful. And yeah, super useful. Just remember, don't use your flush cutters, use memory wire cutters or some, some, maybe some old pliers and why is or that something for like that. that because make... they will blunt your really sharp flush cutters. Yeah. yeah it's really important. We, we all do it at some point, yeah. but yeah, you learn. There we go. We don't need yeah. to learn the hard way. No. Uh, so it's, it's great to have in your stash as well, and it does what it says on the, on the tin. Uh, it, it holds its, its form. It's, it's got that kind of m the memory to it. Uh, so it is brilliant, and, I, and I, it definitely worth having. Something a little bit different, definitely worth having I think in your collection, isn't it? think colours as well, because we only used to do gold, rose gold, and silver. Very possibly. Yeah. Antique bronze. It might well be. I get, I, I, as I say, I've got quite a lot of this at home. I haven't got antique bronze, definitely. No, I haven't got the antique bronze. Definitely. But um, yeah, it's, and, and as I say, it's, it's definitely one of those just to have in your stash and to use. And it's a bargain. That's a posh bargain. It's £2.95. So really, really lovely. Now, I don't know how much you get in there, but that's, that's going to go quite yeah, away. it's going to go quite, quite away. You can use three coils of the bracelet wire to make a beautiful cuff bracelet and just mm. thread your gemstone straight on and pop a little loop on, the, on each end. Job done. Yeah, fabulous. Um, I think we, we might have around, did we say about 14 on the... Something Possibly like around 14 on the approximately on the ring. The necklace looks you've got at least what do you three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, you've got at least probably about the same on the necklace, I would say. Uh, there's a lot in there. It will take you a while to use it anyway. And at 295, if you are looking to keep building on your stash, uh, then you can do that with the antique bronze and we'll give you we'll give you the gold as well. Why not? Because we're lovely. We'll give you the gold. That's very nice. We're, are you are, we, are you the nicest uh, nicest and bestest evening crew and funniest becky's going for it tonight <laughs> memory wire antique gold um, <laughs> you have again the ring you have the, <laughs> the bracelet and you have the necklace this is so lovely so i mean i agree with you on that obviously but i'll agree with whoever says that whichever team i'm with quite frankly um, <laughs> 
just just easier that way uh, so this is your classic this is your antique gold but again it, i think that's one of the newer colors as well because yeah, the gold definitely if you're looking at gold it's 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 like a very shiny buttery gold yeah. a rich gold if that makes sense whereas the antique kind of almost i would say kind of takes the edge off a little yeah yeah it's, it's a little bit more subtle isn't it, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. But really usable, really, really nice. Um, and again, we're going to give you a fab price. So you get roughly the same again in terms of that. And £12.95 for your memory aware. So the antique gold colour on that one. Really nice if you want to, by the way. If you want to mix and match those. Let me not get my, uh, my bags in the wrong bit. Mix and match on those. <laughs> What are those two on in the in the gallery tonight? Becky and Adam. My goodness, it's like having some, one of them on each shoulder, like little chipmunks or something. I don't know. Uh, you can certainly mix and match on those. <laughs> chipmunks are adorable. They are adorable. Uh, chirp anyway. Uh, not the chipmunks chirp particularly, but two pounds ninety-five. You can certainly mix those, but they are lovely. Very very beautiful indeed. If you want to add those to your collection, fabulous. So let's put those back in the right pouches into the into that box number 16 it's the other side on to the side pearls classic 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 these are lovely you just you can't buy enough of these because you'll use them simple as that you'll, you'll buy them you'll wear them you'll use them and they are so so lovely to have when you look and you see the price you can pay for pearls you come to us here at jewelry maker and actually if you are tuning in for the very first time if you retuned your free view box and you're with us watching on uh, on free view now 24 7 um you, you will know we we love this gemstone and it's just to see those little button shapes as well is so so exciting they're four by six millimeters you've got a full on 38 centimeter strand on here as well and judge them on the luster there's various different ways to judge a pearl seven main sort of value fa factors um, and you've got certainly that amazing amazing luster on this as well there's a 38 centimeter strand and you can see the little button shape they're really nice for um for also if you if you want to do kind of stud earrings obviously they're drilled through uh but they are still still really really lovely for for um Studying, even if you want to pop something in the centre yeah, or drop them. That's head pin. The yeah, that head pin will just give you Make that a little, little flash of uh, gold or silver just, mm. just at the end. I think so. I mean, they're so cute. And I mean, a whole strand of pearls like that is always, always going to be very, very highly sought after. And they should be £11.45, not going to be. Um, they are going down today. I mean, these are January steals, if ever I saw them, uh, going down to way, way under that £10. Uh, £7.95 for an entire strand. That's basically a couple of those. A couple of those strands, you've got a suite of pearls. Necklace, bracelet, earrings, probably you want to set some of those into a ring. If I put that, that would be a choker. If I put that right the way around my neck, I don't think I've got a particularly abnormal size neck. I don't think it's too small or, or whatever. It's just standard issue, I think. Never really measured it. Uh, £7.95. <laughs> Leah runs in with a tape measure. What is this? I wonder what a standard size neck is. <laughs> I don't, you see, as a, as a man, you, you, must, you must know, because I'm not going to do it with a straight ruler, am I? It's not going to work, Leah. It's not going to work. <laughs> don't know. There's another question for you. Uh, Liz, how lovely to see you on the screen this evening, Ruth. I'd forgotten about the chair incident, uh, but I've remembered it now. Oh, I'm so pleased, Liz. I'm so pleased. <laughs> Happy to help. Go to YouTube, Ruth and Ed, Jury Maker, Fall Off Chair, Epic Fail. You'll find it. Uh, Tony, hello, Tony. Happy New Year. Whoop it. Breathe, Ruth. Breathe. I get, oh, it's a long story. Do you not know the whoopage, Becky? It's my, it's my thing. Whoopage, shopping, sausage. That's my thing. It's my thing. Yeah, yeah, it's random, but it's my thing. Julie, is the new strand Mookite or Feldspot? Great guesses. Great, great guess. Becky's reveling in the fact that no one's got it right yet. <laughs> If somebody does, I will be very, very surprised. I don't even know how to give you a clue, to be fair. I'll give you a clue in a minute. I will give you a clue in a minute. On the, uh, on the, do you want to have a quick look? Because we need to probably tell you in about 10 minutes. Um, but it has got some, you've got so many different, what would I say? Um, a bit of a clue, because you're probably going to try and Googleage it. A bit of a, cl a clue, maybe, will be uh, down to its formation. And its name... Oh, see, I could, that would give it away, really. Um, the, the word seven, put it that way, the word seven would be involved. All will be revealed 
in about 10 minutes. Millions and millions of years old. Very exciting. I've never, ever seen it before. Never in my life. So that's going to be fabulous. Right, box number 11. Ooh, these look nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I've never seen these. Oh, my gosh, they are lovely. Never seen these. Wow. Oh, I like the colour. Really, really different. Um, I don't think there's a front or a back on those either, to be fair. You could look at those either way. They are fantastic. Top drilled, plain pairs, and it's your ruby zoisite. And look at that ruby that's coming out from the zoisite. You do get various different colours of zoisite. You probably know of it because of tanzanite, obviously. That's probably one of the most famous and probably one of the most expensive um, members of, uh, of the zoisite family. But the ruby zoisite that you've got there, that is super cool. It's quite yes, funky, isn't it? A little bit different. I mean, look at the, some of those. I mean, you've got, again, various di different degrees because they're, they're genuine gemstones. They're real, so they're going to be. Um, but some have got those. I mean, that one is just absolutely gorgeous. And proper kind of ruby red coming out of those. Really fabulous. Has somebody got it? Uh, <laughs> Becky sounds really disappointed. <laughs> oh, someone's guessed it. Someone's got it. <laughs> £18.95. To be fair, I probably gave quite, quite a good clue. No, not quite, not quite. Um, £18.95 on your Ruby Zoe site. Now, what would be the benefit then of having those? Because they're obviously pear shaped. We do use them for drops a lot and for yeah, sort of floor I designs. But you've got drop flat. earrings, but you get that flash of the light when it mm. hits that, that flat, flat surface and then you'll get the colour as it moves again. So I'd definitely have them with some movement in them. And you could, there's no reason if you've got that flat surface why you couldn't even maybe you glue could prong set other them gemstones. As well. prong set. Perfect for prong set. <gasps> prong set very nice. is amazing. They would work really well. They're beautiful. That aren't edge they? will give you a really nice grip for your wire mm. as well. Yeah. Talking to beautiful. Zena's in. Hello. Hello, lovely. Thank you for your lovely message. That's all right. Thank well, I kind you. of saw and thought, you've got to, you know what no, I mean? No, that's very sweet of you. Thank you very much. I didn't know you had a birthday tomorrow. Yeah. She's only 23 tomorrow. 23. So exciting. Yes, and we'll sort that gin date out. We're getting there. I've yes, sent you a little more dates. Yes, absolutely. We can still do that one. Right, we can do... I think Cam and I are still fine for the other one. Are you? Uh, we'll, we think we, 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 yes. Do you know what's in it? Sorry, we're just sorting out. So we could do both. both. We could do both. both. Yes. It's all good. All right, it's all good. Cheers. Happy Cheers. birthday for tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> right, very, very well done indeed on that. You don't mind me sorting out my diary on, on air, do you? It's not, it's not very busy. It's just literally one, one catch-up. Uh, 14, but now we've mentioned the gin date. Leah's, <laughs> Leah's hissing at me. Hissing at me like a little spiteful cat. <laughs> You can still. I, this is my. I can't get round to everybody straight away in the new year. I have a list of people that I need to catch up with that hasn't happened last year. And myself and Leah and Amelia and a few have been on forever about gin. So I just thought we'll start small because to try and get us all together is going to take forever. So gin, gin and Carol. I just called a gin. Zena and Carol trying to get together for a gin. Leah. I mean, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll gradually get there. Don't you worry. Wow. Um, <laughs> blue tiger's eye. 200. Talking of cats and tigers. 255 carats. And they are. And obviously, Becky, you are also. I'm sorry. She's, I can hear. And Katie, obviously. And then, guys, we'll do, sort something else out. You can do a boys' night or something. Do you know what I mean? A what? A tap water party. A tap water party. You can have a tap water party. <laughs> Fabulous. 200. And 55 carats. The colour on this is, it's quite royal actually, isn't it? It's a royal regal kind of sapphire blue. Yeah. It's very, very intense. You still get that kind of yeah, chatoyance there. Yeah, that, that, move, that sort of look of the movement, movement. of the light inside. Mm. Amazing. It's so, so beguiling. It's quite a hypnotic gemstone anyway, tiger's eye. And whether you're going for the kind of classic colour of the tiger's eye, those sort of, the, 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 the I want to say orangey tones, that's not the caramels and the, the lattes. It's so nice to be able to bring in treatments to gemstones whether it's irradiating whether it's color uh, sort of coating whether it's the dyeing process because what you get can be pretty fantastic i mean look at them there they light up in the light box don't they really certainly glowing they look fantastic good size as well 10 mil really really nice big chunky size great for uh, stretchy bracelets always the easiest route to go down if you want to just start if you are beginning on your jewelry maker experience if you're joining us tonight lovely to have your company lots of uh, brand new viewers joining us as well uh, that's going down to 12 pounds 95 
really quite a fantastic treat and you'll find out in shows you you might look at a strand right now and go oh I like that oh I don't but I don't quite know what what, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do with it most of us don't when we're buying strands we just buy them and go I like that gemstone I like the size or the shape or the color and we buy it we put it in our stash we get a stash of gems because I think the more you've got the more choice you've got and then you sit down probably one afternoon and start to get creative yeah. and the gems kind of talk to you in a, in a weird absolutely, and wonderful way, don't absolutely. they? Absolutely. Once you sort of kind of get a nice start and mm. start looking at everything, you've got some findings in place, and you just play around and, and have yeah. some fun with it. Start with the basics, and then and just, it moves on from there. Totally. And at £12.95, again, a great stash builder price tag. Amethyst, Rose got loads and loads and loads on these. And, of course, you're only paying one set of P&P, so you can just add and add and add as many of those to your list. So, well done indeed. Right, I think we are very shortly very shortly uh, going to be letting you know what that strand of gemstone is did you say we've had one person correct well well done there's no prizes unfortunately i will say congratulations that's it uh, but we are going to bring to you some purple terra jasper for you right now coming up let's just do it <laughs> Welcome back. 25 minutes in and already it's going pear-shaped. And I'd forgotten what it, the star buy was called. I just blanked completely. Hadn't got a clue. I just thought I'd sit and smile at you for a while. Just thought I'd sit and grin and gurn. Uh, right, let's do the purple terra jasper, then we'll let you know what that strand is called. Uh, so let's have a little look at this. Fantastic patterns straight away. I think that's the one thing that you see is just these wonderful patterns uh, on the gemstone. And it's such a lovely tone. It's such a gorgeous, sumptuous shade of purple. I mean, that for me, if, if we had aliens visiting from another planet and I needed to explain what purple really was and what the colour looked like, that would be the strand I'd like to show to them. Isn't it? Perfect purple. Absolutely. So, so, so delicious. It's a very, very beautiful strand as well because of all the different patterns you've got on there. And Jasper's a wonderful giving variety of gemstone anyway. You get lots of different colours of Jasper um, and it's worked with on so many different levels. But you can see there all of those lovely colours and actually the kind of the, the inclusion, not inclusion, the kind of marbling effect that you get on that, on the Terra Jasper, brings out this lovely, lovely pinky tone on each and every single one. And they're all different all completely individual. Some of them have got virtually just all purple. Some of them have virtually got none of that coming through. Uh, others have got lots. I think that's probably a really good example on those two, actually. Look how different those two are. Really cool, aren't they? It's almost sometimes like looking at a, a bird's egg when you get yeah. all the different patterns yeah, on there. It is, it's, it's, everyone's totally unique, isn't mm. it? They are so lovely. Nice size as well, 8 mil. 8 mil strand. Would you say that's one of the most sort of versatile sizes, yeah, 8 mil? Most usable because you can use it on the neckline, you can use it in earrings, bracelets, you can even pop it into a ring. So it is one of the most usable sizes. Yeah. It's, and it's, again, it's going to be a fantastic price if you are new to us and you're thinking about giving it a go tonight. Lots of other gemstones that will work alongside this as well. So, seven pounds 95 I've probably quite a few of us thinking that was maybe going to be 14.95 or something around there uh, but no lots of January deals not today seven pounds 95 this is glorious oh is what oh I've not heard of that not heard of that I'm getting last couple of guesses in for the mystery strand we'll tell you what it is in just a second uh, but it is yeah it's it's going to be fantastic and it was really interesting learning about it actually um, but at the moment, purple terra jasper proving to be really popular. A lot of people love the colour purple anyway. And for many, many years, of course, it was only the rich and the regal that were allowed to wear purple. So it's very nice now that the likes of you and I are allowed to wear it. And it's 120 carats. So again, we're big on the carat weight. You've got these perfect rounds and the unique formation, obviously, that, 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 that's happened in every single one of these gems. All different characters, all different sort of properties on those stones as well are so, so beautiful. So keep adding those tea baskets on the phone lines and on the web and enjoy it because it's a super super star buy it was a star buy and only 15 minutes until the agate slice you can mix these up actually with the terra jasper these are lush oh they're drilled they are drilled oh oh now you're talking now we're cooking on gas with those so that oh they're amazing oh i love them even more now 
See, look at that. That looks like I'm the, the bluey one I've just picked up there. That looks like I'm, I'm looking down at maybe at somewhere in Australia. Ooh. And you see all the little islands or yeah. the little reefs or something. That's so cute. Absolutely gorgeous. They're coming up in 15 minutes time. 50 minutes. Do we need to reveal the strand? Right, who got the name right, Becky? Not you, Leah. You know, you know. Victoria in Yorkshire. Good girl. Very, very clever lady. And there it is. There it is. So this is Septarian Nodules. It's a funny name, isn't it? It's a funny name. When I came in, I went, it's a what? It's, a, it's got so much history behind it. And if you actually do a bit of a search on it, uh, when you see, when you actually see these, these kind of full nodules, these, they are, some of them are amazing. Get some really, really big ones as well. They're so intriguing. So that's coming up for you later on this evening. That's the one to own at eight o'clock. And I, yeah, I think you're going to absolutely love that. Again, they're all so, so, so different. We didn't, we didn't know what it was did no, when we came the in. the pictures that we were looking at. I know. Absolutely beautiful. We weren't sure whether Katie's husband had, had found one no, years ago, no, but we're not sure. Now. Yeah, we're going to investigate. Not sure whether it was one of those nodules or a fossilised tortoise. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to be fair, uh, yeah, we're not, we're not quite sure. Um, but it's, it was quite, it was quite big. It was the mark, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, we, we don't. Know. Right, which one? Sorry, darling. Number five. Gorgeous. Uh, this is like a smorgasbord of gorgeousness in here, all of these gemstones. Lots of different shapes. Let me grab this, otherwise they'll be everywhere. <laughs> you know me. Uh, so we've got uh, lots of different colours of agate in here. Assorted shapes, but really useful to have. Sometimes you might not want to buy a whole strand of rounds. You might just want a couple. Then you might want a couple of flatter ovals. So this is a great way to just get that variety and that versatility. Uh, there's loads in here as well. I'm going to pick one or two of them out. Um, because they, as I said, they're all completely, completely different. Let's have a little look at these. We are, we are going to get some funny comments about that, that strand of gemstones. I know we are. Uh, it's probably the same as, as we were saying. Uh, but it's, it's fabulous when you actually do the, the, the research on it. I, was, I literally spent most of my time, I spent half an hour, and I went, oh my goodness, I've got so much more to do, but I was so intrigued by it. Um, look at these, look at that one. That looks fantastic. It almost looks a bit like it should be a sister of um, sort of a um, snowflake obsidian or something. Yeah. Is it drilled as well? It is drilled, top Brilliant. to bottom drilled. And I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like Mother Nature's twisted it. Can you see that's got a curve? So it's not flat, there you go. So it has got a little curve on it. It's kind of like it's been twisted by Mother Nature. It's really fab, really fab. But there are loads of different, different sort of uh, gemstones in here. There we go, got another one in there. They are so lovely to have. They'll all be different. So if you want to grab a couple of them, then absolutely be my guest. But even the colours on them, the patterns are all different. The sizes are different. They're all completely, completely unique. I like that one as well. It's got the most amazing polish to it. Look at that beauty. I mean, just one of those is a feature on a little yeah, bracelet, yeah. male or female bracelet. as well. Yeah, gents jewellery, just mm. on maybe a piece of leather cord, yeah. Yeah. That's so gorgeous. Four hundred and eighty carats of fire agate assorted shapes. There's a lot in there. There are and they're, they're twelve pounds ninety five. Now you've got four hundred eighty carats guaranteed. You might get uh, one or two more in one set, one or two less in another because they're all going to be different. But you can have a lot of fun with those. And obviously, the more the merrier. Really, that's again another really really lovely uh, opportunity. Look at that one. They're all drilled. Every single one of these are all drilled as well which is great so get your hands on those that looks like brush strokes going across as well really rich kind of like a little cafe bean type color beautiful 12 pounds 95 they're gorgeous <laughs> like a coffee bean color did i say cafe bean color did that confuse you Leah? Well, you should know by now that's what i'm here for to confuse to confuse right popping that back in box number five have we we've done number two my love the amethyst <laughs> Do you mean number three? <laughs> it's normally me, to be fair. It's normally me. Uh, these are wonderful. Now, these are peacock pearls. They're very, they're really bright, actually. Really light and really bright. There's only a few left. They're, they've got a mo really silvery blue. They're really, really sweet. Pretty. Really pretty. I haven't seen those before, actually. 
they're very nice very very nice there's a definite bluey silver overtone to those glorious and a nice size smaller size three by four but there's a lot you can do with them because if you do want to go for a bigger look you can actually kind of like that you can kind of twist them together you can kind of beady bead them as well if you want to put a lot together and even with if you think about the agates that we've got the agate slices that are coming up in about 10 minutes imagine with the agate slice and you've got maybe some of the pearls you could do a design on the front of the agate slice with the pearls as well yeah or even That's around the agates around, there's loads yeah. you could do they are so cute aren't they love the colors of those really good and they're glistening real pearls again i've got to kind of stress that um because you you look at prices like this think they can't be they can't be they are uh, they are and our buying power is testimony to that and although you've got this kind of silvery blue you still very much you can see those little flutters of pinks and purples that are coming through on the uh, on the pearls as well they are absolutely gorgeous see i'd like a little bracelet like that yeah that would twisted be together but again, used in, within your seed beading, used on mm. your, um, you maybe in your soutache or your seed bead embroidery. Yeah. Um, the shibori ribbon. Oh Perfect. gosh, beautiful. Yeah. So many opportunities. Yeah, so many choices with that as well. Lovely. Oh, look at the colour of these. Right, Gems of Distinction collection, this one if ever I saw. Um, bright sunny gemstone from the god of the sun, uh, Heliodore. Heliodore or Heliodore? It's always a bit tomato, tomato, isn't it? doesn't matter uh, graduated faceted rondelles two by one and four by two but you've just got that lovely lovely sunny color from the gemstone do you prefer heliodor adam we'll go with that then for, t for you tonight my lovely we'll go with heliodor um but it's part of the beryl family and all the beryl gemstones as we know are very very bright they love the light but they're really really giving emeralds morganite they they all come under that same family of gemstones and I think right now this is what we need, isn't it? A little bit of sunshine. I had to put the lights on in the house for most of the day yeah, today. I was like, we got really? some sunshine up in Yorkshire yesterday. It was beautiful. Was it yesterday we had a bit of, there was, was it yes? Yes, it was yesterday. Yeah. What day was yesterday? Sunday. Yes, because before, yes, before, I nipped to the, the supermarket with maybe half. We went and it was grey and horrible. And when we came out, the sun yes, had come out. And, it was, yeah. and I actually said, it feels quite warm, which it would do. It's the sun. It's quite hot. <laughs> um, but even, but even, <laughs> funny that. Uh, but you know, you just go, oh, yeah, it feels, it was yeah, nice. Yeah, I went out to the garden. I was like, oh, kind of really feels a bit like spring, does this? Yeah, I, I, wanna, I didn't want to say it out loud. Didn't want to tempt fate no. or anything. But. but I saw, I saw lambs yesterday. I saw a bee. You saw a I bee. Saw a bee, yeah. <laughs> like that, yeah. Bee. You take my lambs and you raise yeah. me with a bee. <laughs> there we go. Right, I'm being really banana -y here. Do, they, do bees hibernate then? Yeah, it, it I just kind of, I don't know. I know you do see them yeah. more in the summer, but I was like. Yeah, they? because because it had warmed up a little bit. Sometimes they come oh. out of hibernation a little bit early. Oh, oh well, there you go. Katie Parker saw a bee yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Can anyone raise us? Apparently there's some daffodils out somewhere as well. Apparently. But it's all of these things that we associate. How do we get to bees? Uh, it's all of those things that we associate with, with a sunny gemstone. It makes us feel happy, basically, at the end of the day, doesn't it? Um, and it should be £39.99 for that gorgeous strand of sunshine. Top grade Heliodor, gem of the sun, all the way, of course, uh, coming to you. And £39.99, I don't have a problem with that price at all, but we get rid of that price. And we bring to you another very, very special January deal. And it's coming in. Oh, 20, I was, I was going to get the 29, but from, from the 30 odd, but 27.95, even less. We'll take that, even better. Uh, so gorgeous collection of stones to have. And the rondelles are so, so popular. And it is quite an intense colour, this one, actually. If I take my hand away, the colour doesn't kind of dissipate at all. It's kind of locked in and it looks so buttery almost as well, doesn't it? It's really kind of almost buttercuppy or it daffodil is. tones it's in there. It's the most intense heliodor I've seen. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, me too. And I think it's because they're actually more slightly opaque. I think sometimes when you get them and they're a little bit more translucent, sometimes you might lose a little bit of colour. Not always. Uh, but I think because they're a bit uh, more opaque, you, they really hold on to that colour. And 27 99 absolutely lovely to have those. And again, just picking up one of the agate slices, very, very nice. Uh, you could certainly, again, work with those colour tones. Even a cup of tea, Adam. <laughs> 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 Just 
just having a quick sip. It's all right. It's all good. Uh, but you can see, oh, he spilt it. He spilt it everywhere. Uh, so 27 99 I could have just carried on talking, to be fair, but I thought, no. Nah. Uh, 0800, six, <laughs> oh, wait, six, triple, four, six, triple, five. And on the web at jewelrymaker.com, I'll just not be professional. I'll wait and call him out. Um, but yeah, they look lovely together, don't they? Really, really nice. Summery, summery. They're like a sherbet lemon. Ooh. Ooh. Lemon. I do like a sherbet lemon, but it always cuts the roof of my mouth. Yeah. Always a bit sharp with a sherbet lemon. Is that just me? Same with, with cola cubes and pineapple yeah. cube chunks and all Ooh, that. Pineapple cubes. Oh, they're nice as well, aren't yeah. they? They are good. Not doing any of those at the moment. We're being good. Yeah. Uh, box number which one, sorry, darling? 15 over here. Oh, wow. Oh, these are cute. Oh, I love those. These are gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. A meter of pearls. Oh, well, actually, before I do anything here, they've got a little knot in them. I like that. I like, oh, I like that. How cute is that? That would be a lovely bracelet or necklace, to be fair. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, gosh, a metre. See, you, you, again, smaller size, 2.25, um, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, <laughs> I can't work with Leah anymore. Every time Leah and I work together, it's just carnage. Every time. There's got to be, there's got to be something. Oh, I don't know. A um, hundred centimetres, so a whole metre. I wouldn't change it, Leah, I love you. A metre of pearls. They are so cute. They are very, very pretty. What would you do with these, gorgeous Katie? They would be nice just all together and make a really, really nice, beautiful one. 13-inch necklace mm. and that. But um, you separately, I'd definitely be using them as seed beading. Definitely. Yeah. Beautiful channel set into some wire work. So mm. much you could do with those. Definitely. They're a really nice size, aren't they? Yeah. Really usable. Perfect. Really delicate. A glorious. And I'm, I'm imagining sort of lovely drop earrings as well with those. Yeah. Maybe even that like sort of a little knot shape at the top and then sort of yeah. like a chandelier yeah. drop. They're gorgeous. And they are so, so, so sought after. Cultured seeded pearls. Absolutely fantastic. But don't forget, these are super sized in, so, in terms of length. You've got a lot of them. When you consider that they are obviously the, the smaller of the pearls, I'd say they're probably the smallest we do, to be fair. Um, but you've got a metre of them. So you have a heck of a lot of pearls going over. Normally that'd be a 38 centimetre strand. And we're giving you 100 instead. So that's a really giving strand. And oh, you're, you're going to use these. You are really, really going to use these. And so much opportunity uh, for various different designs. And they're such a great price. Wow. 39.95 for all of those pearls real genuine pearls when you consider what you pay for fake pearls for faux pearls we've all done it not a problem uh, but there's no need now is there when you can get your hands on so much like that see that would be a lovely I there's just little charms oh. coming off there literally the world's your oyster on those it totally totally is they're so so pretty uh, the luster on them is gorgeous the shape of them is very very uniform considering there are so many of them and imagine the time it's taken actually to collect all of those for this one thread for this 100 centimeter strand it will have taken an age to have made sure these are all around the two to two and a half millimeter size bracket but my gosh it's been done absolutely beautifully really really successful and 39.95 when you think what you what you'd pay oh. for pearls like that elsewhere a lot a lot yeah. of money they are they're gorgeous very very well done if you are picking those up congratulations but it's time already of course to do for a star buy a star buy, I've remembered it this time. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm here all night. Uh, star buy, and it's those gorgeous slices of agates coming up now. I adore these, absolutely adore these. Um, I'm looking at them, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find a favourite and it's actually really difficult. I mean, I love pink gemstones, that's, that's quite an easy choice. But then I look at the, at the silvery greys and I change my mind and I look at the slice of blue and I think there's a, there's a colour, there's a shape for, for every occasion and for everybody in these. You are about to see an amazing star bite, really popular. Now, I've got to stress this from the very beginning. 
When we've seen these, they've gone. Simple as that. They're so, so super popular. When we have the slices of agate on Jewelry Maker, it sends everybody absolutely crazy. People get on the telephone lines early. People are on the web checking out very early because when you see them, you never want to miss out on them. And tonight, at the price they're going to go to, you really won't want to miss out on these. They're all drilled. That's the first thing I think we should say. I didn't realise at first, but it makes it even more exciting. Because I think sometimes if you are presented with slices like this, big slices of, of any gemstone, normally the agates, you have a little look at them and then it's the question of, right, how do we set them? How do I use them? Do I wire wrap them? Do I, do I sort of uh, uh, take sort of the wire and, and create a, a sort of a basket, a weave around them? What, what are you going to do? Well, you can still do that, but you've also got the option there with the drill hole. And actually, even if you don't use it as a drill hole to suspend it on, it's a great anchor point, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. even if you're just wrapping it and not actually utilising that drill mm. hole, it's somewhere to anchor your wire or whatever you're using on, just, just to get you started, especially yeah. if, you're, if you're quite new to jewelry making. Yeah, and there's so many fabulous, fabulous colours. We're going to do um, a one minute clock before we bring in the graphics. Honestly, get in as early as you can on these because they just, they're on and they're, they've gone. We have a bit of a limited quantity because we're always going to. Um, and every time they've been on air, the quantity we've had on air, we've had more of you trying to buy than we've not had enough. So we're going to start the clock in three, two, one, go. <laughs> and you've literally got, literally have a minute to get involved, get on the telephone lines, get onto the web, look at all of these fantastic colours, these amazing, amazing slices that you've got of the agate, love the edging on them as well, I really like this one actually, um, I thought that was, that's not the one I kind of thought I would have gone for, and actually I'm really loving that colour, um, it's just, I guess it's really refreshing, nice and summery, and those gorgeous blues that you're seeing on there as well, they're so fabulous, look at that rich sort of honey colours coming through, and all the patterning within there, 25 seconds, until we bring in the graphics and you will need to be as quick as you can love the edging it's got that kind of rough slice on the edging but it isn't too rough to touch actually it's still smooth in terms of the texture just about 10 seconds and then we are opening up this auction uh, for you on the web and on the telephone lines all of these fabulous top drilled slices going to a very very nice price indeed are you ready the graphics are coming in for your multicolored uh, colored agate slabs and there are eight i'm not quite sure if that was scottish or what that was uh, and there are eight pieces of them but the price you are about to see looks like a peach oh that's nowhere near your price it's peachy but it's nowhere near your price any favorite colors here any favorite shades that what would you what would you pick out katie Oh, I've got favourites in all of them. I love that grey. The purple's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. That teardrop shaped um, blue one is amazing. Yes. But um, if there's any left at the break, I'm going to be buying these. Um, I want to make some gemstone trees and use these as the base. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so and then the tree sort of comes up out of it. Nice wire. idea. Really nice idea. Well, in previous auctions, there haven't been any left. I don't want to be the... Uh... You like the pink, Leah. She likes the pink. Pardon? How much? How little? How what? Wow, okay, this is quite a different price point. Eight pieces. <sighs> oh, we've, um, we've got, right, these are flying, we've got less than, right, less than 60 already. These have just gone, these have literally just dissolved. Um, I seriously doubt there'll be any of these left. I seriously doubt there'll be any of these left. Are you, you, yeah. She's need, right, look, Katie's off, she's going to have a quick look at these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got to be quick. You've really, really got to be quick on these ones uh, because you will miss out on them. That green is gorgeous as well. Utterly, utterly beautiful. She's, she's trotting. And um, they, are, they are absolutely fantastic. See, we don't give her any special treatment. She's got to go. <laughs> Um, Helena, Avon, Carol, Sandra, Sarah, Leslie, uh, well done to everybody that are joining us on these. I'm sure you've got some fabulous ideas. I mean, when I started at Jewelry Maker, I started with the big cabochons. I started wire wrapping these as pendants, and it's something I absolutely still love to do to date. But that, that drill hole, that anchor point is so, so useful. If I hold one or two of these up to my neckline, think of these as wonderful, big, striking, look at that luster, striking amulet pendants. You can leave them on their own as they are. You can hang 
hang them from leather, from cord, whatever you wish, and you can create your own designs on top. Imagine creating maybe a tree of life on that pendant. Maybe using some of those smaller pearls we had earlier on, using some of your seed beads, having that gorgeous tree of life in there, utterly gorgeous. If I go for the blue, again, that's really flattering, isn't it? It's so cute. It's almost like a little sort of modern teardrop. Uh, teardrop. It's very, very pretty. And these are literally flying. A lot of people are multi-buying as well. Linda, nice to see you there. Colleen, um, we've got Rose and Sarah and Dave and Diane and Dorothy. Welcome, new bidders as well. If you are trying us for the very first time, this is a great way of doing it. Is that Katie in West Yorkshire? Is that our Katie? She's got it. She's got it. Um, no, we have, let, we don't even have 29 now. For those of you that are multi-buying, your name's just come up, love. <laughs> it's like, thanks, thanks. There's no way if you wait till the end of the auction you're going to get any of these. It is as simple as that. We, we, we thought we can't make her stay with us. It would be a bit, it would be a bit naughty. <laughs> she says, thank you. It's like you're at school. Please, miss. Please, miss. Can I just, can I just? Uh, 26 left. And of course, as Katie said, what a lovely bed of foundation. If you are making sort of a ring tree or anything yeah. like that, they would be really, really fabulous, really, really lovely. And you've got the drill hole to maybe sort of, again, anchor that and for, for your design to come out of that. Lovely if you've got, actually, if you just want to even have them, if you've got a display cabinet and you've got some sort of loose gemstones and you want to maybe place them on there as like a little yeah. display. I also once made a window hanging Ooh. and I spiralled them down. I used a whole pack and I, I just used literally just monofilament, which is a really wow. fine... So it's yeah. invisible, and I had a, a wirework ring at the top, and then just spiralled them down. That's a, a really lines. nice idea. Yeah. That is really, and I guess if you, and also with your window, you could also do sort of ones that are flat onto your window yeah. as well. Yeah. So when the sun comes through them, oh, very. I bet some of you will be trying that. I'm sure you will. Brenda, make sure you've checked out Kimberly Collector in Tyling with Jill. Check out on these. We're down to the final 14 sets, and that is it. Now, just to stress, of course, as well, it is a thousand carats of multicolored coloured, I can't say that, agate topped, oh hello, multicoloured agate top drilled slabs, that's one to get your tongue and teeth around, um, but they will be different, don't forget, they will all be unique, uh, you're going to get different shapes, you're going to get different patterns, different varieties of colours, they will all be unique, they will all be different, but that's what's so brilliant and so exciting about them. Uh, counting these down, Greater London, uh, Tyne and Weir, check out those, Lan, you've got yours, well done, uh, Michael, Wendy, congratulations, um, so so many of you there, Dorset, West Yorkshire, Hertfordshire, Nottinghamshire, Nottinghamshire, Somerset, you've done brilliantly, absolutely fantastic on those. This is what happens when we have the multicoloured agate slabs. We always have a limited quantity, the quality is fantastic, but they just go and we're always left with people. I've got, I don't know, 15, 20 of you that are, that are on the web still that haven't yet checked out of your baskets. They're not going to be there. They're not going to be there. Um, hello, lovely Fran. Fran said I was going to suggest a mobile or, or sun catcher. There we go. But they might work as a garden mobile, not just indoors. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. And if, it's, lovely. if you put, pop it somewhere where it's not going to get like a full blast of the wind, but it's mm. kind of tingle together, they make a beautiful sound. Tingling together. Tingle. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Great idea. Lovely. See? All very, very creative. Uh, so five last chances on those. Thank you for that, Fran. £16.95. Add them to your order. And if this is your first purchase, well done you. Congratulations. If you are a new bidder and that's your first purchase, don't forget, you will get two new strands as well. Well, not new strands. You will get two strands that will be new to you. You will get two free strands in your very, very first order. Uh, so definitely worth having a little look at that at £16.95. They're, they're stunning. They are absolutely beautiful. So really, really well done on those. You have some really big... Oh, there's loads you could do. Loads and loads you could do on those. Well done. Congratulations. And commiserations. Sorry if you've missed out on those. I don't know. Millie, Suzette, James, L, Brand I don't know. I I don't know who's got those last few. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, right, number 20 is the pyrite. So yummy. I like, I do like a bit of pyrite. I have to say, I do like a bit of pyrite. It just looks so, it looks so opulent. It looks so rich and so gorgeous. Um, so this is your pyrite plain rondelles. They're six by ten or ten by six millimeters on a 38 centimeter strand and you just know straight away that what you've got here is something special real obviously and they're so super cold you can always tell they've been in the vault because they're freezing uh, but that's how you know you're getting something that, that's genuine whether it's a real gemstone or not if it's not then it's not going to be susceptible to temperature change but real gemstones are but 530 carats again is huge uh, so you've got a super super large carat weight on them but pyrite that kind of fool's gold that you're seeing on there is just amazing but again it's quite 
It is quite vintage pyrite, isn't it? It's kind of yeah. a couple of steps back. It's it's kind of very subtle, but at the same time, it's massively opulent. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, to totally understand that. I often put, actually put pyrite and pearls together for that Ooh, really nice. vintage look, especially because we do get a lot of them sort of button and rondelle mm. shaped pearls. They work perfectly together. And they're quite heavy. They are yes. quite heavy pyrite. I think that's one thing you'll you'll realise when you get these home and you pick them up. They they certainly have a weight to them. They really really do. But they do have that kind of metallic luster, that metallic sheen to them which is so attractive um little black dress moment definitely but you can certainly sort of judge them up in the evening you can do a desk to dance floor job with those definitely but all of those for five pounds 95 that's really good that's seriously, seriously special. I love what we do here at Jewelry Maker. Um, and that's another absolute brilliant January bargain deal for you. On the web or on the phone lines, just add it to your order because that is amazing. Uh, but there's a lot in there. I don't think you'll use those necessarily all together. You might do. Um, but I definitely think they're quite statement gemstones to maybe space out with pearls, as, as Katie said. Uh, or any black spinel as well. I quite like spinel yeah. and pyrite. Yeah. Really classy, really mm. classy look. Gorgeous. So very well done. Again, limited quantity on those again. I don't know when we're going to see these again, uh, but we have them for you right here, right now. But they are so, so lovely. But you do feel the weight of them. You definitely do feel the weight of them, but they are really, really lovely. So well done indeed on that. Now, straight after the break, we have the rose gold popcorn chain bracelet, which you are going to love. Uh, we've got some more pearls coming up for you. Uh, we've got a kit, obviously, our first kit of the evening. And we have so, so, so many, many more pieces for you. You've got um, uh, Maldivite coming up for you a little bit later on as well. And can I say, can I say, I'm very excited about tonight. Managed to get for you a really super, super auction of something incredibly special and rare and stunning. I've got some canary diamonds. <gasps> canary diamonds coming up for you tonight i got very excited earlier on in the production office because it was mentioned and i was like a, li a little too excited some might say i wasn't yet yeah. i was like a little meerkat behind the computer when somebody said canary diamonds i said what i went would you like canary i went my engagement rings are canary yellow i love canary diamonds so it's like can i have them they are coming up for you in the next hour as well and oh my gosh just such an opportunity we're still jam-packed full of course this evening got that brand new strand to share with you of course uh, coming up at eight o'clock which is the septarian nodule is that right if i said that right septarian nodules yeah does sound like I, yeah i need to probably go to the doctors but it's beautiful and it's got so much so much history uh behind it uh so we are could we can you sort that out in the break my septar i've got terrible septarian nodules um we'll see you at the other side of this we are going to see our first demonstration our first fantastic kit with the gorgeous katie so don't go anywhere and we'll see you at the other side of this Are you new to Jewellery Maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. 
We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Happy birthday to me. Now it's my birthday on Tuesday the 8th of January and I'm supposed to have the day off on my birthday but I thought, hmm, day off on my own or on the telly with my JM family so um, I do hope you can join me. I've also persuaded my lovely bestie, the lovely guest designer Mark Smith to join me on The Late Show. We've got lots of goodies, lots of kits, lots of things coming up and birthday treats galore. So do please join Team Mays on Tuesday the 8th of January on The Late Show from 6 till 10. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello, welcome back to the show. Lovely to have your company this evening. If you are joining us for the first time in the evenings on Freeview, it's very nice to have your company. First day, 24 hours. Yeah. <gasps> so exciting. So spread the word and uh, it's lovely to be with you. We are going to bring you so much this evening. My name's Ruth, my gorgeous Katie. Uh, our guest designer is going to take us through one of the first kits in just a moment. But before we do that, we've got a lovely, lovely little rose gold. I love these. I love these. These are so useful, so cute. Let me pop this on for you. This is the popcorn chain. It's in the rose gold plating and it's the little bracelet with the slider ball on there as well. Now, obviously, it's not a full bracelet because obviously if I just put that down, you can add on to that one. It's 14 centimetres. It would be a bit small otherwise, wouldn't it? Uh, but you can add on to that. So you can add in gemstones. You can add on whatever you wanted to, I yeah. suppose, in the centre, really. But the sliders are just so useful. I think they're particularly brilliant for bracelets. You can obviously use them on the back of um, necklaces as well if you want to have that variety of, of length, if you want to be able to move the slider on it. But particularly on brace, uh, bracelets, especially if you're having them um, kind of quite gem heavy on the top, yes. they slide, they, they kind of move around on, yeah. your, on your wrist, don't they? They don't sit right a lot of the time. So if you've got a slider bracelet like that, if you've got the slider mechanism at the back, when that's actually on your wrist, you can put that as, as snuggly as you want to. Is that actually a word, snuggly? Yeah, yeah snuggly. 
snug fit, snuggly. Um, it just didn't sound right. Um, <laughs> you can make it nice and snug, snug as a bug, uh, on the back of your wrist so that the bracelet doesn't move around, so that whatever you've created in the centre of that design stays put, basically. Uh, but they're so well made, and the slider is actually really, really nice to use because you can get some that are too loose and some that are too tight that you can never sort of virtually move. But you've got like the little bit of um, kind of silicon, if you like, that runs in the centre. I don't think you'll see that if I turn it that way, but we'll have a look. Um, and it just grips, basically, it grips the chain. So you just grab it and you give that a little bit of a move, but you can see there, it doesn't then move. It doesn't wiggle around. It's not really going to come loose, particularly when it's actually on your wrist. But you can use them on your necklace, as we said, yeah, if you wanted no to. But it just gives you that kind of finer finish, really, to, you, to your designs. And I suppose, I wonder if you could get that engraved. I don't know how that would work with the plating. Yeah, definitely. I would have thought so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Stamp it. Yeah, and everything just attaches by the... They've got a little loop just on the very end there. So, and you can just make, make a rack loop into there or attach your beading thread or your mm. flex right straight to it. And they're so useful and we'll go straight to it as well because they are so so lovely and again they're just rose gold is incredibly popular at the moment i think especially sort of in for the last year or two actually it's had a massive resurgence again loads of people are wearing rose gold again it was the thing i mean i, I live in kind of white gold sterling silver yeah. it's all that kind of stuff but rose gold's kind of got me back into the into the buttery yeah, yeah, golds I'd, and the I'd rose gold i love the rose gold here and there it's yeah. really easy to wear isn't it it's really yeah. flattering it's lovely so there we go so it's nine to five sterling silver then you've got the rose gold plating over that as well so you've got precious metal over precious metal so it's not base metals at all on there it's precious metals all the way through and 14 centimeters so it gives you the opportunity so it's not the full bracelet if you like wouldn't expect to be kind of putting that together because that'd be for a mouse it'd be very small uh, but you can put your uh, maybe a badger don't know but you can put obviously whatever you wish to in the center of that so you can add in perhaps a little row of your rondelles or you can really create just a fabulous center piece it's totally freedom's yours really on that one but it's again really just about that that finish and if you're not quite sure on how to finish your braces or you just want something that's got that shop like sort of finish to it yeah, it's a really professional finish yeah then that's going to be the one to go for and for 12 pounds 95 you'll you'll find that really worthwhile and i think if you're selling your jewelry as well to have one or two pieces like this is 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 totally worth it yeah, and it's a great one that other that if you are selling your jewelry people will buy as a gift because mm. they don't have to measure the wrist Good it's, idea. it's totally adjustable. Yeah, they are. They're lovely. So 0800 644 on the phone lines, jewelrymaker.com on the web. Uh, but have a little look at those. If you've not sort of worked with one of those before, you'll be you'll be addicted to them really. I think you'll probably find yourself using those a lot more even than maybe even sort of creating your own clasps or, or um, lobster claws or anything like that. They're just they're just really really easy to use. So lovely. Very very well done indeed on that one. Uh, we've got the flex right wire coming up for you soon. That's not very far away at all. We've got the canary diamonds as well. Do you want to squeeze into another one did you say? Sorry Becky. The potato Ah, oh, that's what they were hiding. They were hiding behind my nodules. That's why. Um, <laughs> we've got the potato pearls. These are really pretty. So elegant. I think when you get that touch of pink, when you get these kind of peach and pink tones in here, they always, always, always look absolutely beautiful. Check those out. Again, a gorgeous size. They will work with quite a lot of the pearls we've had so far this evening. The smaller pearls, the slightly larger ones as well. Peaches and creams, really, aren't they? Natural multicolour. Oh, natural multicolour. Wowzers. At the price, is this, is, at the price, wow, the price we're going to go down to on those, that's really, really quite nice, actually. Three to three and a half mil, and we call them potato pearls because they're not quite perfect rounds. You can barely tell, but actually, it's probably a little bit more interesting on those. Yes. Such they're pretty colours, aren't they? Lovely peaches, really, really subtle sort of apricot tones, lilacs and lavenders right the way through on that strand. And 38 centimetres on those genuine gorgeous, gorgeous pearls. I always say mother of the bride when I see those because that's the You think bridesmaids, you yes. think bridal jewellery, don't you? Yeah, it's just a really soft, beautiful, dainty colour, isn't it? Yeah, they're gorgeous. And we've only got 54 left, not many at all. They've been so, so, so popular. Um, and even if I said to you, if you've got £10 in your pocket, you'll definitely be getting these. I'm so leading you up the garden path because 5 95 Honestly. Wow. That is just, that is incredible. Adam's fed up of being led down the garden path, aren't you, Adam? I'm so, so sorry. To nowhere as well, to nowhere. Um, £5.95, they are 
that's like how that's not do i buy one that's how many do i buy really multi, isn't it you're definite multi-buy to be you perfectly honest them. they're going to build into your stash perfectly yeah especially if you're going to do anything to the bridal do yeah must. totally even little bridal even for sort of tiaras or anything like tiara, that oh a tiara twist gorgeous uh, tiara, yeah it, making tiaras the vines that go in, in her mm. wedding yeah they're so so lovely five pound 95 you spend that without even thinking i spend that virtually without leaving the front door um oh eight hundred six you know what i mean you get back at the end of the day and think what have i spent and what have i actually got it's just it dissolves doesn't it oh eight hundred six triple four six double five and jewelrymaker.com congratulations we've got loads of these in baskets as well so make sure you are checking out on yours because i don't want people missing out on those i don't know what, what happened with the end uh, with the agates either so just fingers crossed on all of you on those uh oh oh is that okay so there's nine left of the agate slices often happens when we have a big auction like that and it looks like everything's gone everything's finished uh people give up or people think oh, i haven't got them nine left so if you did miss out on your agate slices go back in and grab one of those last nine see could have yeah. could have risked it i could have risked could have risked it's not worth it, it. No. not worth it no gorgeous 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 right our kit our kit <gasps> Where is the kit? Da, 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 da. I tell you what, let's have a little look at Katie's gorgeous jewellery first of all, because she's made us some fabulous, fabulous pieces. I love all of these, I have to say. Everything. I love all, all, all of these in terms of what we've got. Uh, we're looking at, um, well, you've made five pieces of jewellery from yes. all of this. We've got some wonderful and pearls. Really heavy with, with in, mm. in all the pieces. And I mean, yeah. especially the shorter necklace. I mean, yeah. that's really sort of gem heavy, isn't it? With the shell pearls and the pearls. There's there's a lot in the frost. Frosted steel. I feel like we should like like Magnum should be yeah. should be in the frosted steel. You won't remember. You won't remember. You won't remember before your time, Leah. Um, right. Let's have a little look. Let's grab out before before my time, really. I can't remember his name. Magnum. What's his name? Hmm. Tom Selleck. Selleck. Yeah. Tom Selleck. It was a program. Well, Frosted Steel wasn't a program. <laughs> <laughs> was he a superhero? Some might say. <laughs> Some might say he had a big moustache, Leah, basically. He did like investigations and things, didn't he? But he was very, very dashing and dapper. He still is now, really, isn't he? Seen him for a long well, like when time. you well, well, I don't, yeah, but if in like the more modern series and things that he's done, who knows? Who, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. I suppose yeah. actually that's quite a long time ago in Friends, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Is it about twenty years ago? Uh, okay, moving on swiftly. Yeah. Right, <laughs> let's have a little look at the strands that we've got here. I absolutely love, love, love these. The the, the grey mother of pearl beads that you've got in here are just beautiful. The shell pearls are absolutely fantastic. Um, you've got two of the grey mother of pearl beads. They're approximately 15 by, uh, 15 by 15 to 22 to 20. Then you've got the ivory shell pearl rounds, which are 12 millimetres, so they are the larger classic beauties. Then you've got the silver grey freshwater culture pearls, which are near rounds. Well, they certainly they are, are as near rounds, aren't they, really? Uh, which are 7 by 6 on a 38 centimetre strand. But this, the, I, it's, I'm, I'm like, yeah. this is so mermaidy. They're is. just, Mermaidial. how beautiful are they? The patterns that you're seeing, the shapes, the contours, the sizes. I've, I've never seen those. I think they're absolutely glorious. They're really tactile as well. You, you kind of want to get them home. You want to touch them. You want to feel the gemstones in hand there. And it's everything here is so oceanic, so gorgeous. But you're getting the most amazing, sensational, mystic luster from those two strands in, in particular. Four beautiful big strands here, which I think you're gonna absolutely love. And don't forget, obviously, that the, the um, one of the benefits, particularly when you're looking at the larger of the of the, uh, the the shell pearls on this one, the ivory shell pearls, is that because they're shell pearls, and the difference there is these, these are kind of reconstituted. So rather than getting your pearl out of the, the, the mollusk, if you take the iridescent lining out of the mollusk and it's, it's crushed down and reconstituted and reformed, you can create the perfect round, which in a pearl is very hard to find the perfect round and would be very, very, very expensive indeedy. So you've got the four strands all working together, coming together fabulously. And I think £38.80 is a cracking price. If you were just quite happily to just kind of split that down the middle and just say 10 pounds 10 pounds 10 pounds 10 pounds brilliant i don't i wouldn't have a problem with that perfect be very happy i'd be very happy but i think this price is a lot better your january steel your frosted steel ah 
£24.95. See what I did there? Just, just did that. Uh, it is a steal at £24.95. Um, and I think across the board, they're going to go very, very, very quickly in DD. Um, there's a lot going on in these strands. Just the colours themselves the colours are absolutely are amazing. amazing. Absolutely stunning. How that's are they to work with? Beautiful. It was one of those strands, well, that I've worked with these strands before in different colours. It's the first time I've had this colour. Mm. But once you sort of take them off the strand and you start looking at them seeing what goes together and you see sort of shapes and patterns within them what's going to work together what you know which things are going to yeah. size wise and things they're a lot a lot fun to work with and you kind of just start i mean i'm just doing it with a couple of these now you start to explore them and there really are so many different colors in them i mean look at that one you've got yeah. flashes of and, and i always kind of when when you see those as the sort of the, the pinks, the greens, the, the, the silvers, yeah, every different angle. Mm, they are so, so beautiful. And actually the flashes of gold that are coming through as well, it's, they're, they're wonderful. £24.95, so much in there, so much. And obviously Katie's made a lot of jewellery. She's got five pieces of jewellery here, uh, two pairs of earrings, bracelet, really lovely long gem heavy necklace and an equally gem heavy shorter necklace. And that's the one I think we're going to have a little bit of a look at, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so it's... Um it's quite a basic beading necklace with a little bit of, sort of design element to it with put, putting the actual mother of pearl pieces together to mm -hmm. make that so uh, lately we've done a lot of the nucleated pearls and where yes. we get all that different shape but because these have got a flat side i thought we'll pop them together and kind of give that the impression of that shape yeah. but sort of have a more value of a price as mm, well absolutely yeah. in fact let me just show you that to you sorry because that's probably one thing you couldn't see when they're in the strand this is why it's nice to get them yeah. home isn't it because they do have kind of more of a, a flatter base to them so if i put those sort of that way up you can see kind of the the, the nucleus if you like a little bit the it, it's not but it's the it's the yeah. wave isn't it and on the back you can see that you've got the flatter side so on those use them either way and especially if you're going to use them in anything um, that you're going to pop it onto something flat, so mm. not like onto your shibori or you, you see the embroidery work yep. or something like that. They're going to work really, really well. They are lovely. They're gorgeous. Right, let's have a little look then. Okay, so for this, uh, this piece, I'm going to be using two pieces of our standard beading thread. So and these um, ones that come in our essential findings kit, so mm -hmm. it's a really basic beading thread. And I've got... So sort of think about it as the length of your necklace plus what you're going to need to make make your connections at each end. Okay. So how, how long is that? About 60 centimetres? Something yeah, like that. roughly. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So I've got two, two pieces the same length. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a crimp tube, which is this one here. So a crimp tube basically binds your wires or threads together. So I've popped both of my pieces through there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one end of my clasp through. You could use a jump ring at this point. I'm using a magnetic clasp. So we just need that to pass through, both of those to pass through there. And because these crimp tubes are a really good size, what mm. I'm going to do is take both of those threads all the way back through. So it's coming all the way over and back through on there. So now right. we've got actual four strands going through that tiny crimp tube there. Okay, now I will say I'm using beading thread, which is perfectly fine to use. For the one that I've made on, on here, I've actually used monofilament, okay. but I don't, you're not going to see the monofilament if I, if I do it that way. No. <laughs> so, but beading thread or monofilament works fine. So leave yourself a nice little loop so that your clasp has got a little bit of movement to it as well. You don't want it too tight that it's, it's stiff I've done and that. it doesn't. I've yeah. done that before. Yeah, especially when you're attaching the other end and it's a little bit salt destroying because yeah. you've got to yeah. chop it and start again. Okay, so what I tend to do is because I've got quite a lot in there, it's going to be hard to do a, a traditional crimp, mm -hmm. okay, because there's quite a lot of threads through there. But you can use your crimping pliers and crimp and then turn it and, and crimp again. But because I'm going to cover it and there's quite a lot of uh, threads in there, right. all I'm going to do is give it a really good squash, okay. just with my chain nose pliers. So a really good squash on there, and that's, I'm going to give that a really good pull, hopefully. <laughs> and that's... Yes, oh, it's always moment. a little bit nerve-wracking when you do that. <laughs> but yeah, super, super strong. Okay, so what you're going to do with that is at the end, you're going to cover that with a crimp cover, but we'll sh I'll show you that little part at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, because I've got quite a lot of threads here, I don't really want all those threads to go through my pearls. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, you can either cut one or both of them off. I'm just going to leave a little part of that one on just to see if we can get the first pearl through. 
just so it gives you a little bit of extra, extra security. So now I've got three pieces okay. here. Okay, so just move that little bit, bit aside. And then we're just going to start threading some of these pearls on. I've not reamed any of these. So fingers crossed, they should all be fine. They've all got good drill, drill holes. Yep. So famous last words. <laughs> yep, so that's gone straight through. And what you're going to do is just going to try and get that third piece in there. It may or may not. I think it will. Yes, it's gone on there. So just give it a wiggle all the way up to there. And that's going to give you a nice secure first bead as well. And then our crimp cover is going to, like I say, go on there. Okay. And it's a really, that's a really professional finish to sort of the end of the design already, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're looking for. Nice and neat, mm. neat professional finish. So what you're going to do then is uh, thread on some more. So I'm not going to watch, make you watch me thread lots and lots. Oh, OK. Lots and lots <laughs> them on. OK, so I think I've got about 15 or 16 on there. But it just depends on what you can do is if you use one of our beading trays or just some, something that you can pop all your beads onto and sort of work out your design before you start yeah. threading. Yeah, because I mean, you can do it while, while she's threading, but it is a little bit, like I say, mm. soul-destroying if you've got to take it all off because that, that design Gosh, didn't work. Yeah. So work it out just before you start. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding our mother of pearl beads. So this time we're going to separate these two and we're going to add one to each of the strands. So one on that one and one on this one. So spend a little bit of time just before you start just thinking and looking at, at these and thinking what's going to fit together nicely because we're going to put them back to back on there. Okay. And then you're just going to let them fall up to the rest of the pearls and just give them a little bit of a wiggle so they're sat nicely together. Don't worry about that little bit of wire. Like I said, if you're using the monofilament, you're not going to see that at all. Mm. But because we're using the silver coloured wire, yeah, it, I quite it, like it. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter no. at all. Okay, and then you're just going to pop your next pearl on. So, pearl threaded on there. Okay, and then you're just going to make sure that they've stayed the right way around for you and squished up together. And that pearl will kind of hold them in place for you too. Okay, so what I did was I added four sets like that and then I added just in the centre, I'm not going to continue adding the four sets, just to give it a sense of focal piece, I added one of these gorgeous shell pearls, the pearl, the gorgeous shell pearl and then another cultured pearl. Okay, and then I continued my design, you can imagine, up, yep. up the other side. Okay, so... I'm just going to add a few pearls just so you can see how I finish it off and then add oh, that crimp pearls. cover at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a few more of these on. And it's really, I think, I get sort of really nice if you are thinking about doing this or you're starting out for the first time, all you really need is, is your kind of, your, an essentials yeah. finding yeah. pack and the strands that you've got here and you can create that necklace. Yeah. That necklace looks so expensive. It does, it, it looks does. so stylish. And it stylish. feels really opulent. It feels, mm. the, the weight of it is, is really nice. It's a really nice place so, to start, I think. So obviously I've not made the full design. I'm just sort of giving an impression of, of what, we, what we would do to at the other end. So just ignore that little bit. And we're just going to finish it off at, at this end. Okay? okay. So it's very similar to how we started, but I'm going to add the crimp cover this time as well. So we're going to pop that crimp tube on, let that slide down a little bit and then we're going to add at the other end of my clasp, which I'm looking for, which is actually <laughs> oh, the attached to the clasp <laughs> because it's a magnetic clasp. Okay, so you're just going to pop that through on there and then again, just like we did right at the beginning, we've got that crimp tube there and we're going to bring this through and hopefully through the next pearl as well we're going to try and get all four pieces going through but if not we can just trim one off at the mm -hmm. other side it's not a problem so I've got that that loop with my clasp on there and let's just see if we can get this all through together we might not get that last one through don't worry about it I've pulled that through anyway so that loops coming down Pull this other one and then what you need to do is kind of jiggle everything together make sure all your actual beads your pearls your whatever you're using are together and nice and neat and it's just a matter of pulling each bit through until you get it nice and neat and pulling everything all at once 
hopefully to get that loop even with each other. Lovely. Okay, so just go a little bit further and pulling that together. So our clasp is sat there. Don't worry if you've got a little tiny gap because you do actually, you don't ever want to stack your pearls all together no. and have them very tight together. So don't worry about leaving a little gap, especially at the very end, because it's going to give you, your piece a lot of movement mm -hmm. too. And again, we're just going to squish. A really good squish. And then we can take off these pieces of wire. So I'm just using my flush cutters or side cutters if that's what you've got just to finish that off there. And then I'm going to take one of my crimp covers, which is the kind of little um, C-shaped pieces that we sell in our uh, findings packs. Yeah. And what I tend to do is I tend to get hold of it in my chain nose pliers or your flat nose pliers and then bring this to the piece. And it always falls out. <laughs> <laughs> so holding that hopefully this time, bring it to the piece there and then Give it a little squish, not too much to start with, just so it kind of grabs hold. And then popping my finger underneath it there just to support it. And working your way around it just very gently until you kind of nibble it together. Don't just squish it because it will just yeah. squish. Yeah. Just taking Slowly it. Slowly and gently. When you're using a magnetic clasp, the uh, clasp tends to like your pliers <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> Though I kind of want to make friends. <laughs> Okay, to make life so difficult, just obviously. Nibbling <laughs> it around until you get a really nice close round, and then that's all finished off. So that's, and then you would add yes. one of those to the other end too. Yeah. And what I do is I always add those last. I don't add one right at the beginning because if you do make a mistake, you're going to waste one. Yeah. yeah. You've got to undo it, absolutely. Yeah. So obviously that's like the tiniest necklace in the world, but then that would join together. Could be a bracelet. Yes, absolutely. It, could, it could be. Yeah. So. Fabulous. So it's really okay. easy to see how that that gradually grows, how you can yeah, do that. Yeah, and it's just working out your design, your your pattern, but just adding the clasp and everything. It's your basic mechanisms for, for making jewellery. Mm, it's fabulous. So get involved. If you haven't got yours already, your frosted steel, uh, £24.95, grab hold of it, grab hold of it, because it's going to be fabulous. And I'm sure you're going to be inspired to create some of those designs anyway. Uh, we've got a star buy for you already. Can't believe that. Uh, and it is the Flex Right. We've got four to choose from. I think you probably need them all, to be fair. And we're going to bring them to you now as a star buy. Right, let's do this. Very excited about these. Very, Very excited. excited. Uh, so we are going to dive straight in. We have four for you, four different sizes of the Flex Right. So I'm going to just quite simply grab the first one uh, and share it with you and show it to you. I've never done these before, so this is new for me as well, which is exciting. Obviously, we've had the fire line. We've had lots of different of, uh, um, varieties of threading material. But what you've got here is 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 a premium grade. Now the Flex Right comes in in um, well, it comes up to five different diameters. I think. Well, so we've got four different ones for you here. I think one of them is going under £10. Just, just saying, just, just saying. Was that a secret? Shh. Have a look, have a look. So this is the first one that we're going to, <laughs> that we're going to do for you. Uh, so that is your Flex Right, and it's, it's, it's nylon coated basically. What you're looking at here, in fact, I'll sh sort of show it to you side on, are strands of stainless steel that are nylon coated. They're nylon coated, so it's the stainless steel, it's the, it's the stern, I'm saying stainless steel. Is it stainless steel or is this it the is silver? silver? Why did I think it was the sterling silver over the... Oh, I've mixed no, the two. I've mixed the two. So you do get, yeah. I think you do get the stainless steel one as well, don't you? We do, we do do one that's stainless yeah. steel. Yeah. This is the, this sorry, is this is the sterling... Oh, even posher! Yeah. Uh, this is sterling silver wire. Flex right nylon coated sterling silver wire, and it's coated to give you that it's, it's you get the most well, it's abrasion resistant, it's super super flexible when you're when you're working with it, it's kink resistant, it's knottable, and it's very very supple. Sounds that doesn't sound like me, <laughs> uh, but there's a lot in there as well. And it uses I'm not knottable, uh, it uses state of the art micro wire technology to produce this, and it's so strong, it's so flexible. So, size wise, on this one, we've got so this is 0.6, but this I mean, 30 foot in That's there, a huge that's amount a huge amount. 
What's that? I don't even know what that is in, in new money. 30 foot. Well, I'm six of it, so it's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot going on in there. Um, but you can see, I mean, it's, oh, that's why I got confused. Yes. That's why, because it's, oh, look, it says on the back, so that's some of the other different varieties, so you get the stainless steel as well, the stainless steel plated. I thought we got the stainless steel plated with sterling silver. No. Are you still going to go, well, Becky's already decided she's going to those prices, so that's not going to change, which is rather fab. So why, why work with this over some of the other materials that we, we we use or what's what's the benefits of this one the benefits of this one is the flexibility that it gives mm. you the strength that it gives you gives you if we look at this little picture here that 49 stands for 49 separate pieces of wire twisted together wow so that's the actual pattern that's inside oh, every gosh. single piece of wire oh yeah. there so we go so every piece of every one of those dots is a piece of wire goodness me is a piece of, of uh, sterling silver wire so that's going to give you the most immense strength it's absolutely amazing and the feel of it is very very different it's going to give you the flexibility the um the snake-like feel you know that that um the uh, the sort of fluidity sorry yeah, yeah that's a better word isn't it I know what you mean. We're yes. all giggling because we were talking about snakes earlier on because I don't like them. And Kate sorry. went snake like, oh, sorry, sorry. It's all right. I'm not no, that bad. Okay. I'm not that bad. I <laughs> could feel everybody around yeah. go, oh, yeah, but the that snake. fluidity, that movement that you get yeah. in your pieces. But it is, so, look, I can yeah. even do it. I can even do it. The yeah. snake I like, it. I can do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is. It's very, very yeah. high grade. It's super if it's something to work you've never with. used before and you've only used um, the. Um, the normal beading thread which is what i've been using in that last demonstration and uh, or the tiger tail some, some people call it the, that sort of beading thread it really is when i first bought a, a reel of this before we started selling it so i paid mega bucks for mine but um yeah the difference is literally i was going around my house to my family going look at this and they were looking at me like <laughs> what <laughs> I was like, look it's so fluid it's so different it feel it feels amazing if you've never used it before just the, just the feel of it, just yeah. the actual wire itself, it's it's good enough to just, be, especially with it being sterling silver, just pop one bead on it, maybe pop mm. a crimp and a crimp cover at either side of it, or knot it, because you can knot with this, okay. and literally use that as your, your talk, your, your wire sort yeah. of thing. Well, I, you've sold it to me straight away, yeah. to be yeah, perfectly honest, I'm, I'm going to have to have a little go with this. With this stuff. And, we've, and size wise, this is the six. This is the 0.6 mil. Uh, we've got other sizes coming in for you as well. We're going to do £34.95 today, which again, we won't go there with Katie. You've obviously bought yours. You've yes. bought yours before at yeah. a different price. Um, it was voted. Ah, oh, so nearly voted product of the year here. Wow. Well, there you go. And Liz said, buy this fabulous beading thread, all in capital yeah, letters. Exactly what Liz just said. Yeah, just that, just that. Yeah. Not really a thread, more of a suggestion. Uh, not, not really a thread, <laughs> sorry. More, of, It is a thread. Uh, more of a suggestion, but it is amazingly good. It is. I think we keep it the thread, really. It is honestly really. one of those things that, unless you actually feel it and you've got it in front of you, you will probably just be, like I did at first, think, oh, it's just a beading thread. It's mm, not. It so honestly is not just a beading thread. I mean, you can kind of see, I don't know how close we can get to, to the actual spool as we're looking that kind of side on. It feels silky. I just, it. yeah, it feels I luxurious. Hard to get involved here. That does look, I'm trying, I'm trying I'm to see. We can, can we, can we, can we, are, are we allowed to? Do you know what? I'm not here that often. I'm, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna dive in. I'm gonna. Wait, I'm gonna wait. Wait for the, the ooze when you, when you feel I it. Don't, I don't. Are we allowed to? I don't know. I don't care. I'm going in. I'm going in. Let's have a little look. So you've got actually. It's quite. You've got the little piece. You've got a little tape to hold it into position, and actually, obviously, the little hook there. Oh wow! Oh, it's yeah. really different, I isn't it? Be ooze. It's really silky. Really silky. I, I honestly haven't, I haven't felt this until tonight. And you can see, I mean, you can kind of see the twist in the, in all it's of those so, sort of. so, so fine. Wow, that's amazing. That, that is incredible. And to be able to work with, with something like this, 
I think is phenomenal. Yeah. But can you imagine that, that with just well. one pearl on? Just literally using it just with one pearl on for a neckline piece. And obviously 95 sterling silver. I have to be I have to be really careful with yeah. with with metals or anything like that that I wear. My sister got married at the end of November and we had these fabulous sort of hair vines wrapped around a bun at the back. And I remember thinking, here we go. Because I'm I literally I'm a legend. Yeah. The back of my neck oh, no. literally the next day and it's just gone. It's taken that oh, long no. for it to go down because I'm just anything that's not sterling silver or stainless or anything like that I, I react to I have to be really careful how lovely to know that this is sterling silver and yeah. there's a lot of modern designs I can do classic designs that I can do that I can work with that and when that you sell so your pieces lovely. if you're saying that piece is sterling silver you can truly mm -hmm. say every part of that piece is sterling totally. silver that is lovely isn't it oh my goodness but we've got four to do I mean I can sit can and try and pop that back that together. is beautiful <laughs> if you want to I'm, I'm quite happy to take the blame uh, clearly it was me that did it uh, right so now it's nice to actually see the different on these as well so again this is now this is your seven strand so obviously there was lots and lots within in the flex right 49 that you had the first one and um, this is your flex right seven so as as it kind of says on, on the tin really so you've got the seven flexible fibers within in there and again you can see that sort of side on all the detail that you're getting so 30 foot again but you've got a different size on this one so you've got your 0.48 millimeters on that so is that right 0.48 yes yes oh so it's not a oh, crikey so it's over nine meters 9.14 wow. meters wow that's a lot that is a lot and I'll show it to you so you can see slightly different tone the if you in like the sheen is because this yeah. one's got the 49 and it, it's more more sort of defined are all them little pieces sure. of wire and the other one's got the seven strands so you can sit, get that gleam off that yeah that so one. if you want to make designs with i don't want to say more luster but i would say that's that slightly more, more satin yeah, finish more curly satin yeah exactly where if you've got more of what what i would consider to be the classic finish on the on the stainless you still on, get on the sterling silver sorry to it that beautiful silky very feel. much i won't open another one just in case <laughs> just in case for like ruth what, what were you doing up there uh but yeah so again really really fantastic to work work with super super flexible uh kink resistant knottable it's supple it's all the things that you want from your high grade beading or, or threading material yeah. these are the types of things i would use if i didn't want to pearl knot or i couldn't pearl knot if i hadn't learned to pearl knot yet mm -hmm. this is perfect for your pearls because it will it won't give it as much of a fluidity as knotting but it will give it that fluidity that more, more luxurious feel with your pearls. and how nice to be able to do that rather than using your, your silk for your pearls yeah to be able to do it with sterling, sterling silver. silver if you are a yeah. sterling silver girl or that's the kind of look you want to go for yes. it's another really fabulous option that you've probably not really had before to no. be fair with any of the other threading sort of materials if you've if you're going for a high grade pearl if you've got that gorgeous organic gemstone got to match it with an equally fabulous yes. high-end threading material yeah. you have to uh, we're going to do a lovely price on this one for you as well so that's going down to 24.95 you're still getting the same amount you've you've got 30 foot of the, of the previous one just over nine meters in new money you've got the same in the flex right here but you've just got the difference in terms of how many of those threads how much you've got kind of going through to create the one single thread you've got seven in this one you had 49 uh, in the other one but they are nylon what and that nylon coating is that is that protecting the sterling silver that, is that adding to the it would protect the, the sterling fluidity? silver obviously sterling silver would tarnish eventually yeah. so that's it's for me that would give it more of an anti-tarnish mm -hmm. treatment on it but it's absolutely Real benefit. useful definite benefit so £24.95 and think about if you can if you want to I would personally I would want one of each one of these if I could to yes. be honest whilst yeah. you've got the chance yeah, to get because, them all right now because you're going to have different drill hole sizes in, in your different gemstones and pearls so you're going to need a variety yeah definitely definitely and same but thing even if you can only stretch to one just just try it please yeah you need to you need to uh, i mean the first one obviously that we started with sort yeah. of even getting that out genuinely genuinely surprised happily surprised by that so you can see why we're getting messages uh, about the flex right as well so next one in let me just pop those down actually is so you've got slightly less i think in terms of um Yes, yeah, so you've just got 10 foot. So it's just anything that's different to this. The one that we've just done, uh, we've got the same size. I do same size, I do believe. Yes, yeah, same just size, double different triple length. checking. Uh, so just a slightly smaller length. So if you, if maybe you've, you've not used it before, then maybe this is the way to go, just to try a little bit less. It's only been on air once. 
last year it was on air and it was so so super super popular so we're really lucky to be able to share this with you for the first time in the new year so you're getting everything that you just had the previous one but you're getting three meters and three meters not small not you yeah. know you're not just getting a little just once around this ball you're still getting you can see it on there uh, a lot if you think it was sort of the average uh, for, for a design for a necklace you've got a fair few necklaces and bracelets yes, coming out yes, of that a lot. let's be honest but again you've got that wonderful flexibility that lovely protection of the nine to five sterling silver and again that's the thing it's nine to five sterling silver when you're buying your beading threads this is about getting high grade this is this is precious metal that's been during that that really state-of-the-art micro wire technology it's been produced to give you that opportunity to work with something very very high grade it's professional it's it's the beading wire of probably choice i would say for this year as we're going through i'm going to chuck that out there but i yes. think it will be yeah. definitely um but you've got three meters just over on that spool so a little bit less to work with if you are tentative or you've just not had the chance or you've not come across it before then maybe this is the way to go but i can guarantee you if you get this home you'll be then sitting thinking i oh, should have had the 30. yeah i should have but that's fine yeah, that's, that's fine. absolutely fine if you just want to try it try, you know just yeah get it, dipping your toe it. in isn't it you will i promise you you will feel the difference in it yeah totally so this is just dipping your toe into the waters okay good question somebody just messaged in to say can you use crimps as usual yes, on this absolutely I yeah. absolutely i would i would go with your sterling silver just to exactly. keep it consistent but yes totally and can it be used as a weaving wire um not for a wire work piece but i think i'm not positive i'm sure kleshner would advise but i think you can use it in maybe a ring or bracelet right Do, uh, the bracelet maker and the ring maker that, that okay. she has i think i've heard her say that she's used on that but check with with Kleshna. right okay and pearl knotting i think we you just can said knot you can... it i'm not sure whether you your knots would be would be as... very neat up to but you can knot it and i have seen it knotted our beading buddies knotted a piece when we first mm. launched it but have a go have a go but great questions definitely um and I tell you what, because we're getting some, we're so much interest in this, got some, obviously your questions are coming in thick and fast as well. We won't do it at £12.95 today. We'll match the launch price, that kind of very special, maybe one-off launch price. Uh, we'll match that for you so you can get it home and have a go. Sterling silver, a lot of it, over three metres of sterling silver for £9.95. That is sensational. That is sensational. Your Flex Right 7 strand sterling silver wire, just when you think what you pay for a very fine, and I know it's completely different, can't compare really, it's, it's horse of course. If you just imagine what you pay for a simple sterling silver, a very fine, teeny, teeny, tiny sterling silver necklace or a little brace or anything like that, I know it's different, but, but the sterling silver, the, the grammage, what you're getting here are, is, is just for 9.95, you've got the chance to create some very beautiful designer jewelry, some high finish designer jewelry, and that you are certainly gonna get more than just a couple of pieces of jewelry out oh, of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> for 9.95, it's just amazing. We've got loads of you there. Let's congratulate some of you actually. Debbie in Worcestershire, well done. We've got Greater London, we've got a collector in Northamptonshire. Hello, Sheila in Washington. Wow, well done. Leslie in the West Midlands, Leslie in Greater Manchester. Diane's just checked out in West Yorkshire. We've got Chris and Julie. Suzanne's waiting to check out with Heather and Jennifer and Tony and Tegwin and Francis and Karen. Oh my goodness, mate. Lots and lots and lots of you there. Um, you won't be disappointed you won't be disappointed for those of you that are um avid jewelry makers those of you that have been with us for years and years that haven't tried it i think this is going to completely change the way that you work with your gemstones the way that you look at your designs because it is nice to be able to to, to go for a higher grade yes. finish and to go all the way through even the, just if you think about the um uh, the designs that you've done for yeah. us today from the kit even to to sort of use that perhaps if the necklace that you demonstrated yeah yeah so definitely the uh, the seven one yeah that because that's a fine, fine yep. one. the double Finally of the, the 49 probably wouldn't go through mm. just because of thickness but this one should do no problem at all and then what a difference in terms of it's particularly yeah, if you're selling a piece of jewelry on my gosh just soars doesn't it yeah totally and use your, use your sterling silver findings as well absolutely uh when do you have checked out dorothy you have checked out so's christine so's diane alexandra joins us helen in swansea hello gorgeous you're all doing so so well and there's loads of you that have been multi-buying uh, quite a few of you actually have bought
support all three so far and that's absolutely fine and um, you know it might be that you're buying that for a gift for somebody else maybe you know a jewelry maker maybe you've got um uh, maybe you meet up with your friends once a week or however often it might be and that might be a little gift for somebody for 9.95 uh, certainly a very nice gift to give as well yep. and then they can be creative the one thing with what i they would do. say is because you're working with sterling silver i would work from the real and okay. don't yes, cut, you don't until, don't cut until, until until you know exactly the the amount that you need. So thread straight on yeah. straight onto it on the reel and then cut at the very end because you don't want to waste even if it's just a few inches. No. And sometimes it's, I, I've done it before where um, it, if I've worked sort of with sterling silver before, sometimes I, I sort of get out a piece of just sort of standard beading thread and kind of mock up the design, not yes. the whole thing because yep. I don't want to do it twice, but sometimes it's quite nice to know and then I know roughly sort of what yep. length I kind of need and it's and, and, and then and then you go into the sterling silver. But yeah, good tip actually, yep. definitely a good tip to kind of work from the, from the spool, from the reel. We have over 20 in baskets. Uh, Elizabeth, you've just joined us in Worcestershire as well. You're, you're not far away at all from us. Um, Karen's checked out, Hazel's checked out, well done check out if it's in your basket in the web don't leave it there for somebody else to grab hold of particularly obviously telephone bidders that are coming in might be leapfrogging up and over you uh, and they'll be taking out that quantity the quantity will be counting down as everybody is checking out on those 9.95 you're getting over three meters of nine to five sterling silver with that incredible flexibility on your nylon coated um uh, flex right wire and it's just going to produce the most beautiful beautiful designs it's soft it's flexible but also maybe the something that we've not got the strength the strength is amazing yeah and if you are making so if you're making heavier designs if you're going more gem heavy if there are occasions where you might have gone for your fire line this is a totally different kettle yeah, of fish isn't yeah, it totally different kettle of fish and again with this one if you look at the way that it's actually made up that's that kind of flower design there and then if you can imagine that is actually twisted the strength mm. that that's going to give you is amazing it's fabulous i like that as well it's really nice so you've got that in the corner of your designs to see how many strands you've got obviously compared to the the the, the first one the beginning one we did where we had 49 of them in there i mean that's crazy yeah. isn't it absolutely crazy uh, but £9.95 is amazing with all of those. Absolutely glorious. Now, little question. Microfasted beads. I would say Don't this. Know. Um, I know our standard beading thread fits through microfasted beads, which I believe is... What's, just gonna look, I'm, go, I'm going I in again. I believe this sorry. is 0.38. A little bit finer, no, isn't it? Don't. I don't think I have any with me. We're having a look. We're having a look. Did we have any of the... We had some earlier, didn't we? The microfasted, the um, hilly... Oh no, we didn't. We didn't. Thinking they were, they were the rondelles. Might be a question of... Oh, you see. These aren't microfasted, but I would say the drill hole is around about the same. Can I pull Let's the try. end off this one again? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm These gonna go in. These are the smallest ones I have. Let's try and pick the end on that. I was trying to be really neat and tidy, but I'm not. <laughs> we haven't got time for neat and tidy. Oh, there we go. Let's have a little go. Yes, so it goes in there, and there is a little bit of wiggle room in there. Can we see that? Yeah. There so is. that's on one of the rondelles. So that's a, a, the smallest rondelle I've, I have at the moment, and there is. It looks lovely. There is though, wiggle room in there that will spin. So, so maybe. So maybe. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Worth a go. Nine ninety five. You. You. Yeah. I would. I would give that. A, I would give that a try. And we'd be honest if we were thinking, oh, that's going to be a bit of a squeeze. I, I would say yes. But I'd give that a go. It's not an absolute guarantee, but I would. Yeah. I would say yes. Okay, there we go. We've got one more. Uh, well done. Julie's got two. Jane, Debbie, Lily, Michael, Elizabeth's got two. Very well done. So one more. Now, let's have a little look because this, this will. will. Yes. Yeah, we think yeah. this one will. Sorry, I, I've got a thinner. We've got a smaller gauge on this one as well. Uh, so this is... Da, 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 da. Yeah, so this is 40. Uh, so this is three... Yeah, because we had naught, we had 0.48 on the other one. This is 0.36. So there we go. We did yeah. all of that. Yes. And this, and this definitely will. We did all yeah. of that messing around. And then there we go. Yeah. 
<laughs> but nice to know that both could potentially work, isn't yes. it? You know, not, and also, to be fair, there was loads of the other one, not loads, but there was a lot more of the other one. There's only seven of these. So if you are thinking maybe of going for the smaller rondelles or maybe the microfasted gems, you've got to jump on this quickly. Whoever sent that message, 995, this is the smallest that we have, the smallest gauge. So this is the 0.36 millimetres. Uh, people are multi, not Peter, people. Uh, Peter's not there. There's two left. There's two left. No, gone, 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 gone. Uh, very, very well done if you've got that, if you've missed out. I'm really sorry. Uh, look out for them in the future shows. I don't know when. I have no idea. Uh, but uh, yeah, very, very well done. But don't be disheartened if you didn't get that smaller gauge. Definitely try the one, the one up from yeah, there. I, I, I would have I, thought. I, worth trying 0. Yeah, 0.4. I think that definitely. Would definitely work. Right. Well, they were a bit fabulous. Work. And I didn't mix them up, which is also very exciting. Uh, well done. Congratulations on those. Right, let's do, let's do number nine. Oh, see, we're staying with the smaller gems, with the smaller sparklies. Oh, that's, that's lovely, lovely, isn't it? Gosh, the, actually, the sparkle that you're getting yeah. from these is really super, really, really super. They look fab. And don't forget, we are getting ever closer to the one to own coming up tonight. Brand new strand, a brand new gem I've never seen. Septarian nodule graduated elongated drops. That makes exciting. Uh, 30 carats in here. You've got these really, really strong, beautiful sort of palpable purples that are coming through. Uh, mixed again with the lighter, brighter tones within there. But what a strand that is. That looks incredibly, incredibly expensive, doesn't it? 30 carats worth in there as well. On 800 644 on the telephone lines. There are your tassels. They make amazing earrings. Um, and there's only 15 of these left now. Couple have gone already. Oh gosh, oh, that's yeah. a great price. The quality and the sparkle on that, the colours that you've got within it, I would literally restrand that. Literally, to be fair, yeah. yes, I don't yeah. think I'd the do that. The graduation is honest. beautiful, really delicate. Yeah. I'd literally restrand that, pop clasp on. So exactly. definitely be using the sterling silver flex right just because oh, crumbs. Yeah. it would just make it consistent all the way throughout. Gorgeous. And it's only very subtle graduation from the very top. You've got three mil approximately to five mil at the front. So it's not a huge uh, sort of um, graduation or a huge increase, sorry, in graduation. It's very, very subtle. Almost, you kind of almost don't see it, but lovely. The sterling silver against that as well. You could warm it up with the gold if you're a gold girl. You could get all golden gorgeous, honestly, with your yellow gold. Are you a gold girl, Adam? Are you? I can see that. I can see that against your skin tone. Um, and for nine pounds ninety-five, I mean, it does it does sparkle. And that's Ooh, the beauty. Look at bracelets. that. I mean, we can't get enough of these. I keep eyeing up your bracelets tonight, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I need I need that, need that one. And I can't get. I've missed those. <laughs> uh, nine and I'm just done. Yeah, uh, nine ninety-five. So pretty. So, so beautiful. And it's the quality of the cutting on those. The, the lapidists that have worked with these gems have cut them absolutely spot on. Uh, but the colours are just gorgeous, aren't they? Every single one of those, you've got transparency cutting through and such a well-known and a well-loved gemstone. You know that's amethyst, simple as that, but 9 95 It's fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Uh, right, popping that one back. That was box number, sorry. I never remember. That was box number nine and we're going into box number three. We've got some more wire for you in box number three, because we're uh, we're in the mood. We're in the mood for wire. So we have. <laughs> so now this is the wire that I've worked with previously. Yes. Uh, so this is the one that I've worked. Then again, the same thing. Don't obviously be. be, be careful when you're using it obviously don't just sort of use it willy-nilly make sure that you're not wasting any of your sterling silver so you've got a meter there so it's a nice place to start if you wanted to begin to work with your nine to five sterling it's 0.4 it's nice and flexible isn't it the 0.4 yeah, 0.4 is your perfect wire for wrapping so wrapping against some base wires which are a thicker gauge but also the 0.4 is perfect for your briolite wraps so your mm -hmm. gemstone your drop style gemstones with the kind of uh, little cap of sterling silver on the top Lovely and a wrap loop so you can just add it straight onto a pendant. It's gorgeous. And do you need to condition your wire in any way? Is there anything special you need to do because it's sterling uh, silver? No, I would I would say um, don't handle it too much because the more warmth it gets, the more work hardened it, yeah. it becomes. But you will find, if you, even if you've never done any sort of wire work before, sterling wire is actually easier, more malleable, more mm -hmm. forgiving to use than a plated wire. Plated wire, yes, you can be sort of experiment and be quite wasteful with, but if you want to just get into it and just have a a real go and have a wire that works beautifully yeah. for you this is the way to go yeah and you've got a meter on that as well so if, 
If you weren't lucky enough to get one of the FlexRite um, spools that we've just bought to you, you've got a metre, so it's a little bit less again to work with, but that might suit you. It might be that you've not used it before and you're not sure about working with it. I think you'll love it. I think you'll love it. The first time I worked with the sterling silver wire, I was like, oh my goodness. It was, it kind of revolutionised what I was doing. I, yes. I just, I loved the feel of it, everything. Uh, and I stocked up quite heavily when we first had it. Um, but this is, this is still very, very popular in terms of the sterling silver wire. Really, really nice gauge on that as well at 0.4. Very, very friendly to work with if you like. It's, it's lovely, lovely, lovely uh, thread to work with. But thread it's sterling silver it's 1.4 grams of sterling and and that in itself is is adding value into your jewelry when you're adding uh, the sterling silver in when you are making your designs when you're selling your designs then obviously having the sterling silver there is all added value into what you're doing isn't it but so so wonderful to have that in your collection uh, we're going to give this to you a fabulous fabulous price as well tonight uh, so if you've missed out on it i think you're going to love this because i tell you now i paid a heck of a lot more for mine when we first did this uh, and I, I you know i'm i'm, I'm here but I, I did, yeah. and I didn't mind because I wanted sterling no, silver. No. I didn't mind, and I, the price was still brilliant compared, yeah. but it was, to see that now at £2.95, you really can stock up. You really can stock up for a metre of 95 sterling silver. Grab a couple of metres, you're still under a £10 note. Um, and again, a metre goes a long way. It yeah. really, really does. Yeah, that so, is so fabulous. So that's an example of what wow. a one point four looks like when it's been weaved. Have a little look at that. That looks gorgeous. I, I definitely need to learn how to do yeah. this weave. Stay tuned. That's all I'm going to yeah. say. Uh, but yeah, fabulous effect on that one as well, isn't it? Imagine that you could have that. Oh, there's so much you could do. Uh, so £2.95, very well done indeed on the sterling silver wire. That is cute. Right, number 12 is... Oh, the Jasper. Jasper! Keep looking at those canary diamonds. I, I'm trying not to. I've got canary diamonds coming up for you. And I literally keep... I'm... Wow, just amazing. Jasper number 12. Box number 12. Oh, these are so pretty. Fabulous patterns on these. Oh, wow. That, well, if there's any Dalmatians walking nearby, oh, they're going to be I embarrassed, aren't they? Favourite of those. <laughs> Ocean oh. Jasper. No I can't actually. Oh, that one's like a piece of art. I love the greys. That's a really nice one. This, you can't stop looking at these when you get these home. I mean, I would straight in for a stretchy for me. Yeah, Simple. mix them all up. Yeah. yeah, and a matching ring. Matching ring, stretchy yeah. bracelet. You say that, then I go, and maybe some drop earrings. Yeah, but you could have multiple matching rings to just suit your mood, couldn't you? Because uh, you've got all and the colours. Yeah. The, that's a nice idea to pick out from the bracelet. Yeah. Absolutely. The 20 by 15. Oh, look at that one as well. Oh. It's a little bit druzy esque That's fantastic. You've got a little bit of the um, sort of the crystal that's coming through on that one. How cute. So this is lovely because, they're, they're, as we know, they're genuine gemstones. But look at all of those fantastic colours. We're going to take a lot off that price point, as you, as you well know. 24 95 definitely what we should be looking at. That is gorgeous. These are yummy. These are really, really, really lovely. Very distinguished, gorgeous workable gemstone. And we're at £14.95. 320 carats. I mean, that is, that is going some. So I'd, I'd live in that. Yeah. You it's got so many lovely colours. Out of that, definitely. Oh yeah, if I and even that. if you were to pop there a spacer in, you're definitely going to have some left over for some earrings too. Yeah, they look wonderful, don't they? That's gorgeous. Uh, Debbie, uh, Debbie said, oh, you, you were successful, weren't you? I saw your name, Debbie. Uh, Katie, is it best to store sterling silver wire in plastic or metal box, i.e. the tarnishing? I store mine in the plastic bags and I have the tarnish strips inside them. Okay. Yeah, just because you you know it's air sealed when you yeah. when you do that seal at the top of your plastic bag, that's that's how I would recommend storing. Okay, well that's nice and easy. Yeah. Nice and simple. Good question. Thank you very much for that. And enjoy working with it. And let's let us know. I'm sure you'll yeah. be sending some di designs in. <gasps> some wall of famers. Um so £14.95. It does wrap. That one strand goes around the wrist easily twice. Uh, so you can have two fantastic bracelets if you simply wanted to do that. Or you go for one brace and then you've got a lovely, lovely collection of individual gemstones remaining for earrings or rings. I, I just, I think I these are really that. exciting Beautiful. actually. Look at that colour as well. Yeah. Kind of worn on its own. It's almost kind of got the yellowy shades in there, the sort of mustard type tones. Greys are lovely. I can't find a favourite in there because no. I keep changing my mind. <laughs> no, there's so many favourites. I think they're all favourites, aren't they? Yeah, really. Oh, and that one as well. You've got kind of the, oh, yeah. look at the patterns on the back here. Yeah. How cute are they? Almost like little stepping stones within the, within the gem itself. And if I flip it round, check that out. They're so cute. Some of them have got like the little, well, they're all, they're all beautiful. All beautiful. And £14.95 on those. 
really remarkable. You, I kind of want to get working with those already, to be fair. Uh, but fantastic. So very, very well done indeed on that one. Right. <laughs> coming up, we have the one to own coming up after the break. I keep having to look to make sure I don't get it wrong. Septarian nodule graduated elongated drops. Ever heard of them? No, neither had, uh, had, uh, had I, neither had we yeah. we'd never heard of this gem. We did some research and had a look and we were like, mesmerized. wow, mesmerised. Yeah. We were on the computer for about a good half an hour. Um, it is such a fascinating, fascinating gemstone. We're so delighted to be sharing it with you as a premiere tonight at the other side of this. So don't go anywhere because we're coming straight back with it. <laughs> Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced Jewelry Maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. You can now book Jewellery Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewellery Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the Payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Happy birthday to me! Now it's my birthday on Tuesday the 8th of January and I'm supposed to have the day off on my birthday but I thought, hmm, day off on my own or on the telly with my JM family so um, I do hope you can join me. I've also persuaded my lovely bestie, the lovely guest designer Mark Smith, to join me on The Late Show. We've got lots of goodies, lots of kits, lots of things coming up and birthday treats galore. So do please join Team Mays on Tuesday the 8th of January on The Late Show from 6 till 10. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
are you ready? Dun dun da! We are about to share with you a brand new gemstone. I have never seen it before until tonight. I had never known about it. End of story. Until today. So this is, I feel like we've discovered a new yeah. gem. I know we haven't. It wasn't, it wasn't us. Um, but we are going to share this with you as today's amazing, amazing must have one to own. Take a little look at this wonderful, wonderful gem. There is so much history surrounding with this. The colours in here are just phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous, rich, opaque gemstones that you're seeing right now. Really kind of like nothing else we've ever really seen before. Nothing we've kind of experienced before. And this is called Septarian Nodules. Exactly. Um, not a gemstone <laughs> name we'd heard before. Um, and I, I kind of went, it's a what? It's, a, it's, a, it's called who? It's called what? Uh, but there is, there is reason for it. Now, the septarian nodules that we have right now, it's quite difficult to say, uh, are 11 by 5 to 18 by 16. And they are 18 centimetre strand that you've got here. But what you are looking at is a gemstone, a spectacular example, I have to say, to be fair, um, of a gemstone that was, well, the nodules were created millions of years ago. We're talking sort of 50 to 70 million years ago. It's a long time. Uh, and this generally, but we're talking about a gemstone that, that it's found in one or two different areas. Utah is one of the main uh, areas where, where the gemstone comes from. This is from, uh, from Russia. Uh, I think they've actually found examples of this actually in, in, in the UK as well, uh, down, down south. Um, but it was created. Some, some say slightly different some scientists say one thing some say another but what we kind of feel with the gemstone is well it's, it's one of the most curious I think we can definitely say in the gemstone world one of the most curious sort of objects in the natural world are, are the nodules or the the, the um the, 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 where we found these gemstones from and it was all millions of years ago and we're talking about when the land was moving when the world was shifting in the bottom of the, uh, the sort of the seabeds, these sort of mud balls were created, these sort of clay mud balls were created, and they kind of attracted um, like sea life and various different bits to them. But obviously, as the time changed, as the world evolved, and as, as the one big landmass as we had, Pangaea, went off into various different continents as we know it today, and in certain areas, of course, land mass um, um, or the, the sea retracted and a lot of areas were, 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 uh, became quite barren. Similar thing, I guess, if you think about the Great Western Seaway in southern Alberta, where um, amylite sort of comes from, that, that Great Western Seaway gradually, gradually dried up and the, the creatures that were there, the ammonites, became sort of left, literally left high and dry. In creating this, the, this gemstone, those, those land masses, those areas that dried out, you had these essentially sort of mud balls, these, these nodules, these mud balls that were left there. And hence, obviously, it's coming into the name. But when they looked at these, these mud balls, when they looked at these nodules, and I don't know if you'll even see it when you're even looking at the gemstone, as they kind of started to, to dry out, when, when you took a cross section through the nodules, you saw that they were the, 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 they were sort of well the calcite fill, but that there were the cracks that were in there. These mud balls they cracked and they cracked with around seven points in every direction, and that's what's kind of created the little patterns, or in, in some cases really quite defined crackled patterns within the nodules and the yellow centres that you're seeing. And by the way, obviously that's linking up to the name. Sorry, so you've got these seven points, these seven cracks. The Latin word for seven, septum, septarian nodules. That's how the name evolved for the gemstone. So the septarian is the, is the Latin part, which means seven, and then you've got the nodules, and that's kind of how th these evolved, that's how, how they formed. But the yellows that you're seeing, because there's some lovely colours in there as well, the yellows that you're seeing, the yellow centres, that's kind of composed of calcite. The brown areas are aragonite, and sometimes you get kind of the outer, and you can see it on some of them. There you go, great example. Lovely example of that. The grey sort of outer skin on that is, is often limestone. So there's actually a lot involved with this particular gem that we have. Very often just mineral quality as well. We don't very often see gemstone quality. So this is unusual as well. And it's been already, it's been embraced by so many different um, um, uh, countries, so many different areas the, the, the world over. Um, but they are just, I, I find they're captivating. I think just looking at these as well, 
uh, is, is amazing when you consider they've evolved over so, so many millions and millions and millions of years for a start off. Uh, and you're thinking you're going back to the, the, the time of well, beyond the kind of Jurassic seas when these were, were starting to evolve. But if you have a little look, some of the um, some of the photographs, I've, I've printed a few of these off, actually. I don't know if we can show them or not. They're, yeah, I was printing them off because I was just so fascinated. If you have a look, you can get some that look like big, druzy eggs. Yes. From those yeah, ones that we, we were looking yeah. at. Big, huge sort of... Uh, um, but there's one that looks like a cheeseburger, quite frankly. You can have a look in a bit, Leah. You can have a little bit. Uh, but it, it's fascinating when you kind of... I think, don't know where that one was... Where was that one from? That was in oh, it's in the grounds of the Saffron Walden That's Museum, huge. isn't it? I mean, it looks. I mean, it looks. Can we show these? I don't know if we can or not. But then, if you have a little look at that, I mean, that looks nothing from the outside. That's kind of one sort of rocky example. If you're looking at those sort of big mud slabs, those sort of. I mean, it doesn't look particularly sexy at all when you look at that. But obviously, when you slice into it. When you go into it and you then see all of those cracks that come out from the uh, from the from the nodules, it's it's just fascinating. There's loads and loads and loads you can read up about this. I, I honestly expected to go in and to, to do a bit of read and to not find very much at all. Well, how silly was I? There's loads and loads of reading to do, and I've I've literally scratched the surface on this. I want to go home. I want to read up on on a lot of this as well. There are famous septarian nodules in the world. Uh, it, New Zealand, you, you can find them in New Zealand on, on the um, Otago coast, you'll find them there. There are huge spherical boulders that are very, very popular tourist attractions to have a little look at. These aren't that mineral, those bolts, this is gemstones. These are gemstones that have come from there. They're, they've come from those mudstone sort of areas and these cracks that have come out that's what makes these gemstones so so special it's taken many many millions of years to be able to do this but sometimes you can get them you can literally take these and slice them in half you'll see those seven uh, uh, points those seven um uh, points creating that crackled pattern that brings this gemstone to life and i just if i knew none of that i still love it but the fact that i know all of that i love it even more it's just it, it, every day is a school day here isn't it in the world of gemstones it is absolutely beautiful. fascinating fascinating but you need to get them home because if i flip them over you'll still see again they completely almost change and um, i don't want to do anything else for you on price in the nicest possible way 24 pounds 99 for everything that you've got there wonderful but we are because we wouldn't be who we are without offering you something absolutely stunningly special they are just coming straight in and going straight down to 14 pounds 95 and they're all so different they're they're really lovely and they do have a kind of organic earthy feel to organic them don't they earthy peel I, I love that that kind of yellow it's like mm. a lemony it, beautiful yeah like a it is lemon it reminded me oh, of the so butterscotch gorgeous. amber yes. when i saw that yes yes definitely. i did wonder if people but would I maybe go for amber markings you got, mm. got with it in it with it each of that i love the stories behind it as well there's so the history much behind it yeah so I've much had, to read upon the journey i'm trying to read from afar can, i'll let you have that <laughs> yeah, you can go on with yeah, that with the pictures <laughs> that we were looking at online as well i know they are they amazing are fascinating i mean just and it's been used in jewelry for quite some time you will i mean you, you'll be able to create your own fantastic pieces and that's even more exciting because they'll be like nothing else they'll be like nobody else's pieces got to congratulate you because people that are perhaps taking this today i completely understand some of you are taking a little bit of a a, a bit of a, a leap of faith with me on this because have you heard of septarian nodule I haven't. Maybe you had. Maybe you're even more sort of uh, genned up than I am. I mean, I've been doing this for 11, 12 years and I've never, ever come across it because you don't generally get very much in gem quality. And we've, you know, we can't just make one strand here. We've got to make a few strands for you for, for, for it to go around. Um, Dorothy, Mary and Jerry, Dee, Suzanne, Julie, Jane, Carol, Evelyn's bought two. Well done. And of course, if this is your first, can you imagine if that's your first purchase? Oh, wow. Wowzers. Wow. If it is. That's a real collector. <laughs> that's a start of an amazing collection. Goodness me. Start high. Uh, if it is your first purchase, you will get an additional two strands absolutely free of charge. Don't forget. Um, so give it a go at £14.95. Uh, You've got your money back guarantee as ever. Uh, so if you're intrigued, you're not sure get it home get it home have a little bit of a look because there's no harm done uh, the only harm done is is when you you decide too late and suddenly we go oh sorry they're all gone um so pop that in your basket get it checked out and we've got nicole nicole's just joined us in florida hi nicole we've got a collector in germany we've got anilla in you uh, in norfolk 
uh, literally all over the globe right now at £14.95. Well done on that. Super. Super. I love it. Got. I think that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and we've got some more special gemstones to share with you. Right, keep checking out. There's loads of you still coming in. Mary, Pauline, you've just got yours. You've just got yours. Uh, right, let's do... Oh, on the desk, there's a gold box. I know what's in here. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I don't think I've seen clarity like that. These, these, this is lovely. This is really special. Oh my gosh, I can't do it. I don't know. Oh, it's so special. <laughs> this is fabulous. It does come in the little gold box as well. I, lo I love these boxes. Um, okay, let's take her out. Let's have a little look. You're about to see a really high end, very, very high grade strand of a gemstone that started its life in outer space. So we're going from one spectrum to the other, aren't we? From a, a, a wonderful strand, loads still checking out on that, uh, that came from right, right down on, on the muddy seabeds to a gemstone that came to us from outer space, essentially. And I'll tell you what I mean by that in just a second. No wonder people always fall in love with this gemstone. And um, it's kind of everything an emerald would, would hope to be when it comes to clarity. That is lovely. This, this is so, so special. The little bubbles in there as well. Oh, oh my word. word yeah this is maldivite maldivite graduated faceted pairs and they are really really high grade eight by six to six by four on a 10 centimeter strand how many have you got three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen on this my gosh fabulous that could be seven wonderful pairs of earrings or one or two pieces anyway Absolutely stunning. But how did it come to be? Uh, well, Maldivite originally started life as a, a well, coming to, to the Earth over 40 million years ago, a meteorite crashed to the Earth. I never, I never know whether it, what's the meteor, meteorite. Isn't there a difference between one when it comes through? What's the difference with a, um, am I getting this right? Am I mixing things? There is, there's a difference, isn't there? Isn't there what, when it, when it, or am I mixing things up here? When it breaks through a certain atoms on it. <laughs> I can't think what the question even is, Leah. But I thought there was, am I mixing this up with does such a change, different... Do you mean, does it change its name from yes, outer space? Yes, when it space comes from outer space. Or our... maybe I'm mixing that up with volcanoes and magma and lava. I don't know. Anyway, as a meteorite crashed to the earth. I'm, not, I'm better on land. <laughs> as a meteorite crashed to the earth over 40 million years ago, um, when it hit the land, and it, it hit in, it hit in uh, Germany, and it's strewn out over the Czech Republic, various different areas, it hit with such ferocity, as you can imagine, meteorites often do, um, the temperature, the gases that it brought with it, everything that occurred with that meteorite, with the impact, helped to create this gemstone and particularly in the Moldau River Valley of the Czech Republic where this particular gemstone is often found as you can see that's where this comes from because of what happened by mother nature this created the gem and it was the gaseous bubbles that were brought to the earth with the meteorite with the temperature with everything that happened the ferocity the gemstone was born however it's very different to other gemstones because if you keep digging down and digging down for this gem eventually 10 to 12 meters approximately it's going to stop it's not like diamonds it's not like other gems where you keep digging down and down and down because it was the result of something that came to the earth so it's limited but you will see in here this where it gets really exciting great transparency but can you see inside some of those gems you have little sort of what, what look like floating bubbles within the gemstone lots of them have them in there they're the little gaseous bubbles that nasa used to actually help confirm that they came from outer space do, 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 do. no no don't talk to me about et leah we have we are looking at maybe that extra special gemstone they are so did you actually just she actually just did that didn't she <laughs> katie think, actually I went there anything. i didn't do anything she did the ET pointing. No. <laughs> ET screamed at the beginning of that film when I was very little and it terrified me. And I've never made friends with him since. He's, I love him and it's such a good film, but he's, I, I find it very frightening. He is quite scary. scary. And you, Case just went, I'm like, what's she pointing at? Like, oh, she's actually, you're all so naughty. So naughty. Um, oh my God, look at it. 
looking. <laughs> we are looking at 100. Okay, let's stop that conversation about eating now. We are talking 100 and everyone's pointing at me. <laughs> Becky, should we should we just take some more money off this? Because everyone's being mean. Everyone's being mean, meany pointy fingers. Let's <laughs> let's take this down. Mean pointy finger. Uh, Sixty nine. Next time I'm like, who am I working with tonight? Am I working yeah. with mean pointy finger? I can't work with her. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she sits on her hands, which isn't good for a guest design. No. 69 95 but they are top grade. The quality on those is just fabulous. It really is gorgeous. I, I would ask you, but I don't know whether I want to talk to you now. <laughs> um, I think they I've got lovely, about 10 they? strands of mould right now. Have it is you? one of my absolute favourites. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's it's a piece of space. It's out know, of this world. It's it literally is. It's one of my all-time yeah. favourites. Yeah, it's good. And the, I mean, the quality of that is just <laughs> superb. Absolutely something to phone home about. It's the only thing I'm going to say. The only thing I'm going to say. I'll borrow that from you, Adam. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's, and it's a lovely strand because you do have that variation of size on there as well, yes. don't you? So you could pick perhaps the centre gemstone on its own. On its own, have that as a single pendant, have some gorgeous. drop earrings. Absolutely. And lovely story. Yes. Really, really lovely story to tell on that one as well. It will always be the clex, it will always be the connoisseurs that go into Moldavite because you really do appreciate the quality in, in terms of what you're getting there. Yes, of course, you can get the more opaque material and that's still absolutely wonderful considering. But when you do go to this sort of high grade in this level, definitely if you bought any of the Flexrite sterling silver as well, my gosh, uh, I would be massively, massively tempted to work with that on it as well. Uh, so very well done. And again, get that strand, strand home. If you haven't seen that before, get that home. Um, what we are also going to do is a fabulous stone on its own. Goodness me. Wow. Now, the shape of that is divine. Do I have my little tweezers around? Can I get that off without using the... Thank you, Leah. I don't know what I did with them. They were around, weren't they? Thank you. I'll allow Katie Pointy Finger to do that for me. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you darling. This is, look at that. I, the colour, the colour of this stone. <laughs> Just asking Katie how she feels about a new middle name, a new, a new name. Hello, my name's Katie Pointyfinger. Katie Pointyfinger Park. <laughs> kind of works, doesn't it? Kind, kind of works. works. Um, right, let's have a little look. Oh my word. This is, I don't think I've ever seen a cushion shaped Moldavite like this. That is Oh, I don't even... This is utterly beautiful. I'm, I'm going to cover it up with my big paws. Where are, the, are those tweezers under... I have got large hands, we know that. Sorry, I, I don't know where I... I don't know where I put the tweezers. Don't start cutting... <laughs> oh, they're right by me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, gorgeous. Ruth, big paws and Katie, pointy <laughs> finger, Parker. Um, right. Oh, my gosh. Wow. I'd have to get that set into a ring. Absolutely. I would have to get that set into a ring. 2.2 carat, look how gorgeous that is. And the fasting, I'm just looking at the other camera. That is amazing. That's got a bit of a paw print, that's, that's mine. Uh, but, I will claim that, I'll get that back. But the, the, the faceting on, yes, you've got, you've got the flat surface on, well, on the, on the, on the front really, the table. But if you turn it around, look at all, you could set that either way. Yes. I'm tempted yeah. to get, I would be tempted to actually do it that I way, to be fair. Way. Yes. All of the facets that you're seeing in there, that's, I'm looking at it on all of the different cameras. This is just wonderful. Goodness me, that's gorgeous. Uh, Jane, hello, gorgeous. Jane says, Jane Studio, I have this. It's beautiful. Moldavite cushion. Both of you make a great team. Um, <laughs> what does that say? Winging, winging hugs. Winging hugs, Katie. Oh, thank you, Jane. Don't be nice to her. She's been mean to me tonight. <laughs> 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 thank you. It is lovely, isn't it? It is. I would, I would have to. I would have to. <gasps> she'll be, yeah, she'll be releasing the snakes later and going, oh, I brought you a little E.T. toy. 2.2 um, .2 carats a good size. It's a really, really good size as well. Absolutely phenomenal. 10 by 8 millimetre. The clarity, if I just take my hand away, that is lovely. You see all the little tiny, tiny little sort of speckles within there. This is good. Is, now, let's just pause for a second. So is there a difference between meteor and meteor and meteorite? It's, I knew there was something. I knew there was a method of it. It's only considered a meteor. Meteorite. Meteorite. 
if it reaches the ground. If it doesn't reach the ground and it's just kind of whizzing around and floating around, it's... If it enters the Earth's atmosphere, it's a meteor. If it hits the ground, it's a meteorite. You see? Now we know. <laughs> you see, every day is a school day. You're quite impressed with that, aren't you, Leah? I am. Leah's behind the camera going, what is she talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just rattled something in my brain cavity thing, and I just went, I'm sure there's a something there. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of rattling around going on up here. Um, £24.95. That is a stunner. And I can certainly think straight away of a young lady I'd like to give that to to get set. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. That is, and I would have that set. In, I'll say gold. I, I'm, well, I was just about to say I'd have that set into gold, but I wouldn't mind it in silver either, no, to be perfectly silver, honest. No, white gold would look beautiful. It's glorious. The glow, I don't know if you can see that, the glow that that's actually sort yeah. of uh, on my finger there, sort of underneath as well, the light that that's letting through, that is truly wonderful. Good size gemstone. Obviously, I'm doing it that way. It's completely up to you. But I just, I'm so, I, I'm, I'm so enamoured with the, with the fasting. Then, then if you've got the choice to set it, do with it what you will. Pendant, two of those in earrings. You've got the most magical suite. I mean, that is absolutely phenomenally beautiful. And of course, if you have bought some of the pear shape uh, Moldavite gemstones we had previously, I mean, you've got the choice for an, just the most incredible collection of this phenomenal, phenomenal gemstone. It's, it's a fabulous price as well. £24.95, that's just... It, it is out of this world, it is. You, you have to go there, don't you? You have to. Uh, totally, totally mesmerising. at uh, 24.95, sorry, I always try and put on the extra four pence. Um, on the telephone lines, 800 644 655, Durham Mark, well done. Sue, uh, Sue's congratulations. Got buddies in Gloucestershire, Washington, Edinburgh, Nottinghamshire. So, Dari, make sure you are checking out on that. True, truly wonderful. Truly fabulous. That is, uh, I'm going to have to get one of those, I think. Just gorgeous. Very, very well done indeed. Keep adding those to your order. Would you go ring, pendant, earrings? I think I have to go ring. Be... I want to look at it all the time. Definitely. I know. Yeah. I think that's often the first first mm -hmm. thing, isn't it? We go for, because we, we do yeah. get to sort of see it as well. Just beautiful. Very, very well done. Right, let me make sure I get that back in without pinging the gemstone everywhere. So, there we go. Put, put the lid on. I'll leave that on there. Wonderful. <gasps> We've still got the canary diamonds to come as well. So exciting, so exciting. Uh, right, box number 17, pearls, girls. We cannot get enough of our pearls. Beautiful pearls. Nice size. Really, really nice size. Oh, should it? Box number 17. Oh, I don't think I've got... Let me have a look. Come this way. Oh. Oh, I tell you what, that'll be why. That'll be why. It's all good. Let's do them. Let's do them. <laughs> Here you go. So we have one. It's all right. It's amateur hour. White fresh water <laughs> cultured near round pearls. <laughs> I'm, I did not. Have I mentioned any names? No. No. Uh, six by five millimeter, apart from my own, and forty <laughs> and forty centimeters. Um, so you've got some lovely, lovely, lovely pearls on there as well. Just classics. We we always like to bring them to you. We can never get enough pearls, quite frankly. Um, and then we'll bring to the dendrite um, opal in just a moment. Um, so we'll, we'll just throw these in because we can, quite frankly. It's all good. No, no, nothing. Uh, no, no one. No one was harmed in the swapping over of those boxes. Uh, so white fresh water cultured near round pearls. You can't tell really, can you? No. I mean, you, no. you've got to look pretty, pretty close to even sort of recognise that. But if anything, again, a little bit more character potentially on that and slightly longer. So you've got 40 centimetres instead of your sort of standard 38 on there. But so you definitely, especially if you're not, and you're definitely going to ne get a necklace, a pair of earrings mm. from that. Yeah. Uh, if you're using your flex right, perfect for your flex Wonderful. Right. Yeah. Yeah, very, very nice. And the colour's just so classic. It's iconic, isn't it? They never date. They never, they're, they're ageless, really, aren't they, pearls? They're always associated with grace, with innocence and with beauty. And you can see why. I mean, any age for pearls, I think you, you're always going to look incredibly classy uh, when you're wearing them. It's, it, and you can, you can really keep them very classic in terms of how you set them. But you can also make them very modern as well. But at £12.95, think of all the times you've bought. I mean, even you go and try and find a, a simple pair of, uh, nothing too flashy, nothing too expensive in the boutiques, just your high street. Find yourself a pair of pearl stud earrings, go in with £12.95, see what you come out with. Yeah. Just for a pair of er earrings. I was in a high street shop just before Christmas and there was an, a pearl necklace, it's plastic pearls, and that yeah. was £15. Yeah. And, 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 and people will buy them. 
Yeah. And the, it was just a, a silver coloured clasp, you know, yeah. nothing, nothing Clever. special. Yeah. Clever. But now they're all real, £12.95. You don't need to do much to that. If you do want to make that into a necklace, you need to simply kind of restrand it, add on a clasp, and, and you, job's done. Job's done. £12.95. Amazing. I'll put those on the side. I'll just leave those on there. Right, number 12. Shh, uh, 17, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, let's have a look at these. These are really nice. Oh, I'm loving this shape. Cubes, aren't they? I've never seen these before either. They are lovely. I, I, I always, always love the dendrite apple. The dendritic inclusions you get within here are fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. I just want to explore them. I want to study them. I want to look at them all. And, and instantly you look at them and I, I think about really posh, fabulous, sort of stately homes with amazing marble floors or a marble worktops. And you see all of the different patterns in there. It always reminds me of that. Or of willow paintings. Whenever you saw the sort of the, the china uh, plates or the, um, or the, 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 any of that kind of pottery that the willow painting on there the very very fine detail that you've got from these fabulous expanding little in, sort of dendritic inclusions and the way that they've happened i mean they're just they're fabulous aren't they you can really sort of pick out the dendritic inclusions in those but the cubes new to me really yeah, yeah i've amazing. not seen these we've i had, love them had quite a lot of cubes lately these for me i would definitely be using some cufflinks oh wow amazing cufflinks. oh what a great idea yeah, definitely, <coughs> definitely, and that and, and again, male and female. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of cufflinks, really nice present on those. Make beautiful rings. You can make a little spinner pendant, so you can nice. sort of see all the facets as it's been drowned. They are lovely, and obviously works really well with silver. Really well with silver, and they're only ten pounds basically with change. Nine pound ninety five for seventy two carats of dendrite opal, and they're six by eight under ten. Uh, seventy two carats mm -hmm. of dendrite opal. <laughs> From Australia, mate, all the way from down under, 72 carats. Can't keep going. Uh, but 0806, I wish I could get from Australia for 9.95. Mm. Um, yeah, they are really pretty. So I just like a really simple bracelet yeah. with those. With yeah, the they're little... really nice just literally into a necklace. Just pop, pop mm. the spaces in between, use the spaces that's on there. Like that. I like that. Very nicely done. Sorry, box number 18. John. Rings. Uh, let's have a little look. I've got a lot of jump rings in here. I won't get them all out because we'll be picking those. Well, I won't, but we'll be picking those up for days. <laughs> uh, so let's scoop. Let's scoop a few. Right, nice size on the jump rings as well here. Right, okay, okay. Have a look. So we've got silver plated copper open jump rings. So when we say open jump rings, you'll find on them there is a little a little place. Is it just at the top? I think there. There's normally somewhere, isn't there, where you can where you can kind of nip into the yeah into the jump ring if you were to cut them but on those you you will have are cut so well oh, it's, it's very hard to, to find the, mm. the join but that is what you want because when you're using them for chainmail, you're opening closing them you'll find they'll shut perfectly too yeah i'm going to say there is we have done it on one or two there we go let me get this one because you can see obviously when you're holding those with your pliers though if i tilt it that way there you go so obviously when you open and close them you do it like you're sort of opening shutting a gate if you like rather than pulling it apart you do it sort yes. of like so so that, that it is that it's really hard to find the line on those because you do want them to close up you want that you don't want any of those to be catching on anything and um, got around 200 in there around 200 of your jump rings and there's lots of different uses for the jump rings isn't there yeah i mean jump rings are used as a one of the basic mechanisms for connecting your jewelry together so connecting a clasp to to the other end of a, a bracelet or a, a necklace but also we do a lot of um chain mail shows yeah so perfect for them and this size is the seven mil inner diameter so it'll be a nine mil outside diameter okay yeah there you go. So if I turn it that way as well, you can see. And if you if you if you don't know too much about chainmail, we've got loads and loads and loads of DVDs uh, that help you through all of the different sort of mediums here at Jewelry Maker. So if chainmail is something you haven't tried and you'd be interested, in, have a little look at one of those DVDs. And also on the website, there's lots and lots of tutorials on there as well. But 200 of those for five pounds ninety-five, definite stash builder, definite. And you, you oh my gosh, you'll use them. 
Oh, our Fleur goes through thousands, I think, I'm sure. every week. Yeah, yeah, you will, you will. And at £5.95, but you want them that are quality, obviously. And uh, I think that, as we said, that sign of quality is even looking... That was the only one that we kind of sort of had a look at. It's so hard to even find where they open and yeah. close. <laughs> Literally can't tell. Uh, so, yeah, great work if, you, if you're grabbing hold of those, if you needed to grab a few more of those uh, for your stash. Right, number 16. Oh, I love these. I love these, love these, love these. Oh, oh, beautiful. First time I've seen this variety of turquoise yeah, for me I've as well. <gasps> Look at the finish on them. Wow. Have you never heard of it either, Adam? There you go. There you go. Let's have a little look. The colour of this. If you dream uh, about the purest of turquoise, let me do it like that and I can hold them so they don't fall. If you dream about the purest, purest, purest of turquoise, I mean, that's like looking, that's like looking down at the ocean, isn't it? It's like oh. being in the, uh, in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and looking at those pure, pure, pure waters. Um, I won't do the voice again. <laughs> uh, thanks, Adam. Uh, you, what you've got here, thanks for your support, um, is, is 50 carats of Kingsman plain turquoise from the Kingsman Mine uh, in Arizona. Now, you've probably heard of Arizona turquoise before. You've probably heard of Sleeping Beauty turquoise, which is which the mines are shut, that's, that's no more. Uh, this is probably one of the oldest and highest producing mines in Arizona, uh, up there with the, with the likes of your Sleeping Beauty. But it was originally discovered over a thousand years ago by, 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 by the Indians, well over a thousand uh, uh, years ago. And my gosh, I can't even imagine what it must have been like to have uncovered these first yeah, pieces. Yeah, to see that, that. To see this colour against the earth. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fascinating. 50 carats, you've got these plain slabs. They will be different. They will be different. There you go. You've got three different slabs there as well. But I, I am just absolutely blown away. Oh, my word. They're drilled. Brilliant. Oh, I love it. I love them even so more. You can I set them without possible. interfering over the design of it, of it at all. Yeah. Yeah, you can set them really simply, or you could set and capture them in wire, prong set them. You could even put a couple of those together if yeah. you wanted to. Um, but it's the colour of them. Uh, that is, for me, some of the most purest when you talk about the turquoise. And you've got this lovely kind of silky finish, this kind of almost uh, sort of waxy, almost vitreous yeah. luster from this, because it's a slice from that gem. But it's so, so intriguing. Those small ones as a ring, a prong set oh, ring. Oh, can you imagine? Amazing. That's very lovely. Very it's not different. That, I said small, but it's not that small, is not it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tiny tiddler there, is it, to be fair? But they're just so, so fabulous. They're just, I mean, and, and also I'm going to hold that up to my neckline. Yes. To, to have the chance to own a, a, a slice of the Kingsman turquoise like that on your neckline, utterly, utterly flattering up against the neckline as well. Uh, we haven't finished on price, by the way. Not finished on that at all. Uh, we now actually have 29 Nine. Nine remaining. Nine remaining. So nine of the Kingsmen. Uh, I don't know why that sounds so funny in my head. Nine. Um, under 30 pounds. I don't know. Nine. And uh, 29.95. <laughs> Leah's gone. She's lost it. Nine. Uh, 50 carats. Just sounded all a bit nasally then for a second. Nine. We have nine. At uh, 29. Oh, I can't. Uh, Kingsman turquoise. <laughs> Under 30. <laughs> under 30. It's just under 30, Becky. That's all it is. Just under 30. But yummy. Absolutely delicious. I can't even take my eyes off that. That's so, so fabulous. You could have pearls. I'm expecting to see like a little stingray floating through there or something, or a little, a little shack. It's so, so gorgeous. Not a sea snake, Leah. No. But little pearls, like the small pearls we had earlier on, maybe. Yeah, oh, the, the, yeah, the sea bead pearls. Mm. Yeah, the, um, the whites, uh, the ivory ones. Yeah. Perfect. Really gorgeous. Or even on a, a sort of a piece of leather. Or just on the, on the on flexi, flexi right, yeah. Oh! They're gorgeous. They are absolutely glorious. Very well done. We don't have many of those left now at all. They're going to go. Uh, but we have another star buy to share with you. We've got some luscious, lustrous, fabulous Labradorite coming up now.
<laughs> this is a much longer strand than I thought. <laughs> I've wrapped it. I don't know. I'm just having a bit. <laughs> I was just trying to get it off the little tea bar thing and took it off. My... Oh, no, round again. Oh, no, round again. And I got it all in a twist. All in a twisticle. Didn't expect it to be so much, but... Hey, it's all good. I'm not going to blame anybody <laughs> but me. Um, right. All I can see against those... I can just see those those blue flashes, those, yeah. those amazing it's flashes. It's sprinkled with blue, isn't it? Oh, it's... Turquoise. Yeah. Breathtaking. That's really good, Labradorite. The, the, fla the flash and the flickers between the yellows and the blues are so, so strong in there as well. 140 carats of Labradorite. Plain, small nuggets. 2 by one to 10 by 2 and an 84 centimetre strand. There's a lot on here. There is a lot on here. And judge it on the Labrador Essence. Judge it on those little flashes, they're not even little, that you're seeing on probably every, every single nugget that, that you've got on, the, on this long strand. It is just, you could, you could simply restrand that. You could simply yeah. restrand that, or I'm thinking a really full-on gorgeous stretching. Right onto the um, memory wire we had earlier. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, yeah that would work really, really well. Uh, but there's so many different colours in there. And it's the way that the light hits all those little sort of tiny uh, inclusions in the, in the gemstone, the, 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 the angular essence that comes from the gemstone is just sensational. Look at those. They are absolutely... Sorry, I'm looking at them in the other camera again. They are absolutely playing their part, aren't they? That Labradorite is very, very high grade indeed on that. And these are Madagascan, originally Labradorite from the Labrador Peninsula in Canada. Uh, one or two more different locations for the gemstone. But they're just, they're so intriguing. It's, it's one of the most mysterious, mystical, fabulous gemstones that you'll lay your hands on because it constantly seems to change when you're wearing it because of the Labrador essence, because of that internal phenomenon in the gemstone. But my gosh, they look amazing, don't they? I can't That's such great quality. Amazing. They are. You, I can't wait for you to be able to kind of cut into that strand and, and you just... imagine a tree of life in that? That would be oh, a super. magical tree of life. On one of the agate slices. Yes. If you've got... Oh, I'll yeah. go for the, for the greens green or for the blue. Actually, I might go for the grey. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one of the grey agate slices. If you manage to get these, I think there's about five or six of the agate slabs remaining if you want to have a little look on those. But a, the, a tree of life... On that agate slab, just phenomenal. There five, there's five, is there? Okay, I think there's five sets of the agate slab. That would look unbelievably beautiful. Or even as a necklace, because they're top drilled. And you would sort of oh, take the yeah, Labradorite. Yeah, that for the neckline, yeah. Unbelievably beautiful. Really, really great. And this is why we say, or we encourage you, to, to collect in a show. Maybe grab a couple of pieces. Build up your stash of gemstones. Have a, a couple of agates here. Have, uh, you know, your, your jaspers here spread them out on a desk have a little look at all the gemstones because oh look at those blues now because they will really delight you that looks incredible oh, like a full rainbow i know just in that one piece there i oh don't know goodness. if it's my angle but it probably is because yeah. you'll see you'll see yeah, the different sort of labra dresses yeah. at, at different angles that's why it's so fascinating and again i mean to have a they are they are look at, i've got an indigo coming out of that i've got purples and indigos yes yeah. they are wonderful really kind of like ever changing if you like but for four pounds 95 you i mean why buy plastic or bit you know when you've got the opportunity for the genuine article there's lots of purples in there that is a really a nice there. strand really really lovely you know if you're getting a, a hundred well an 84 centimeter strand and you're thinking yeah, okay there's going to be some nice ones in there there's probably going to be some knots no they're all lovely they're all lovely and it will be gone it will be one of those that's kind of on and gone and it, it will it will be out of here but definitely, I mean, for, for, for that price, that's, that's, that's silliness. Silliness, I say. Um, but very well done. Even on there, look at it. <laughs> so gorgeous. Uh, number 14. Oh, I really want this strand. Look at the size of the... See, I, I would just yeah. have to... Classic. Oh, there are only three. One, two, three. Yeah. Fabulous. Sorry, Becky. Uh, <laughs> these are oh, such a gorgeous. nice size. Oh, my God. Look at that. <gasps> Have a little look at these pearls. These are unbelievable. Look at the size of them as well. They feel absolutely incredible. You're going to have to be so quick on these. Natural. Natural. I don't know. I don't know. Natural metallic fresh water culture pearls. 12 mil to 16 by 17. Anything over an 8mm is a luxury size pearl. 
these are these are high end these are very very high end lustrous pearls I need this strand in my life and there are three str literally just the last three strands I but you can see why they've sold you can see why they've gone can't you unbelievable quality they you have to feel those Katie you can actually feel the weight of them don't right. expect them <laughs> come you back gave them come to back me. aren't yeah. they just phenomenal <gasps> wow I mean that pearl that, set is a as a ring as yeah. a center pendant I think if you if you were just to put that that one pearl onto the flex right I think I'd be stunning uh, maybe at least 150 at least I, I would hope so yeah yeah absolutely minimum look at the colors I know they are so They're gorgeous amazing. aren't they it's peaches and um if it, right if everybody checks out on these they're gone it's as simple as that and I will have people that are disappointed, so I do apologise. If I could pass these to you through the power of TV or whatever now, um, I, I absolutely would do because, yes, they look amazing. Yes, they are amazing. When you feel them and touch them and experience them for yourself, you remember us saying this. You remember us getting so excited about this strand and you were like, that's why. That's why. I totally, totally get it. For so many, um, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty, approximately twenty-four luxury size pearls. And it's not that they're just eight and a half, fabulous, or nine mil, anything over eight luxury size. They're twelve by twelve to sixteen by seventeen mil on your pearls. That's just sensational. Uh, Bridge End, if you check out, you'll get the next strand if you're first. If Yorkshire checks out, I don't know who the I don't know who the last one will get to um, go to. Kent, safe, done, yours. Sheila, congratulations in Washington. That is an amazing strand coming to you. There is a battle to who for who uh, whoever oh, checks out on the last. That. Cornwall's there as well. Birmingham joins. I mean, that is exceptional absolutely exceptional it doesn't go all the way around the back of my neck 30 centimeters but of course you can restrand you 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 don't need all of those on that one strand it might just be that big center well i'll leave that with you i can marvel share i don't know i don't know who's going to get that last strand but they are oh and tell i haven't even mentioned telephone bidders telephone bidders again i know i don't want to put them away <laughs> they are adorable Goodness me, very special. Well, I like number two. Where am I putting those back in? Sorry. 14, 14. You oh, it's, it's the opal. Oh, it's the opal. Sorry, we were <laughs> Like my mum. Oh, it's the opal. Um, I said it was going to be size of well. all. You are. Um, this little lady here uh, alongside me has just been collecting her opal uh, mm -hmm. gemstones today. Um, Katie point your finger, finger Parker. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do it. <laughs> well, I could, but I know what will happen. I'll open it and be like, Bang! Um, right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There are only nine remaining. <laughs> you my, my shield. It's a cat. <laughs> I remember doing this once actually with a Pariba tourmaline and pinged it and went oh! and sat there going, I don't know where it's gone. Really expensive one. And then I went, oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Right down. Right down. Uh, right. It was the only one that didn't sell. <laughs> Thought it would have gone for more. But anyway, the colours, the colours in here are so, so beguiling. And this is Ethiopian opal. Really, really special really special gemstone there is a sort of a, a big sort of canyon uh, in ethiopia where this particular gemstone comes from and it's it's literally only a meter or so, a meter or so into that the other side of the canyon where the gemstone comes from and it's really since the 19 late 1980s it revolutionized the jewelry world prices of um australian opal have they've really had to kind of reassess the whole market if you like because ethiopian opals have come in and taken the crown this is breathtaking and it's so it's so delicate the colors in there because you look at it and with opal you might find well opalescence obviously within the gemstone you might find what we call flash fire or pin fire sometimes you can find harlequin but that's very rare this is so different because it's almost a wash with colours. 
you're not seeing little pins of uh, little sort of um, uh, portions of fire or sweats. It's just glowing. I think is the best way to put it. It looks it's, alive, it's doesn't it? Unbelievably, yeah, absolutely. I can't, I can't get over. Yeah, it's exceptionally, exceptionally high quality. And when you get it at home, I mean, all of the colours that you're seeing in there are, are going to be, they're, they're spellbinding. And I am very surprised, very surprised and delighted at what we are about to do on the price on this. I'm going to show it to you against one of the little boards as well, just to, just to see. So you get like a moonlight glow then. I mean, that has to be set as a ring for me. Wow. It has to be. Wow. And to see, and it's the size of this, the size of this opal, three and a half carats. My gosh, it's been polished beautifully as well. Three and a half carats. And look at the greens there. That's flash fire. That's flash fire. All the way. You might see greens or oranges or pinks or reds. Spectrums of colour from tiny microns, tiny spheres of moisture. Opals like this don't have a crystal structure. They are organic gemstones. They have tiny 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 spheres of moisture within them and it, depending on the microns how deep and how small or how big whatever size the microns are in there denotes what color flashes back to your eye so the light comes in it hits one of those spheres of moisture and it comes out red or green or yellow reds are really rare to find in there but it's the it's the size of that that i'm absolutely flabbergasted by 14 by 10 millimeter is way 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 up there but i've never seen such purity in the body of that gemstone i've never seen so much beauty all the way through and again if 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 if, the, if everyone checks out on the web they're gone they are gone imagine that if you if you get that set into a ring what you would pay for that it, as a solitaire what you would pay for that in any boutique and i'm saying boutique rather than you high street buy store that on your high street no well it's no the way. size it's yeah. the size and the quality and I think the uniformity is, is, is a really exciting part of this because it's not that the colours are all coming in at one end or you've not got a little cluster at one side of the stone and that's it. It's right the way through. Yes, you'll see flashes of... Look at the blues. Can you see the blues in there now? This is... Oh, my word. You've got to see this at home. You have to get this home. I just... We've treated you with those tonight. We've treated... Um, first couple have checked out on them as well. Superb. I, and see now I've got greens yeah now I've got oranges I tilt it that way explore it when you get that at home that is wonderful that's really wonderful I can see some uh, purchases happening from here tonight um, and if that wasn't exciting enough because it really really was I'm about to share with you one of my all-time favorite gemstones a gemstone I've never ever seen here on jewelry maker me personally I've certainly never brought to you and it's an exception exciting and special star buy because I have two words for you canary diamonds <laughs> Right, <laughs> we are really, look at these, unbelievable, can't believe I'm actually holding these right now if I'm honest with you, and I am saying these, I'm not just saying holding this canary diamond, I am saying holding these canary diamonds, and there's not two, or three, or four, but five, I am making, I am, I am, I'm going to make you wait. The colour of these it is off the scale. They are so, so vivid. They're so incredibly beautiful. I'm going to show them through the little um, um, pot, the little jar, if you like, that they're in, and then we will get them out. We will explore these, because these are just a cut above the rest. And I am going to be biased, I will be honest with you, because this is one of my personal favourite gemstones. You know me, I love my Periba Tourmalines, uh, but I can't believe wow. the colour of these. <laughs> Look at those. Oh my goodness me. Five. Five canary diamonds that are round, brilliant cut. And look at the size of these. These are, I know, 
These are three to four mil. These aren't specks of dust. These aren't grains of sand size. These are three to four millimeters. They have been cut to maximize the table of the stone. They've been cut to maximize the size visually of the stone that you are seeing. And we are talking, we're talking celebrity diamond here. You, you think about diamonds the world over, every girl wants a diamond, but to own and acquire a canary brilliant diamond, a canary yellow is a different thing altogether. The likes of Natalie Portman, the likes of uh, Kate Winslet, she wore over two and a half million dollars worth of, of canary diamonds to, to one of the award ceremonies. It is a rare stone. Diamonds are still rare. I know we talk about diamonds maybe in the industry and we, and we see them in the, Every, every jewellery store worth its salt will have diamonds and we tend to sometimes think, get a bit complacent, think, well, diamonds, they're everywhere. They are still rare. They've had to happen because of a, a phenomenon in, in Mother Nature. When they were forming, when the carbon was coming together, it is still a phenomenon. They are still rare, precious gemstones. And as we all know, they command a pretty penny. We, we have to get these out. Could I possibly ask you to do that yeah. for me again? Because I just don't trust myself opening these pots. They'll be flying everywhere. Um, and when we do have something so, so rare and so beautiful, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be very, I don't know. I've asked not to know the price on these. I'm going to be very interested to see this. Um, I don't know which we're even going for. I'm, I'm just going to go straight in. Right. <laughs> you tell me that just so I'm about to pick one up. <laughs> um, this is unbelievable. Wow. Now, when I say I'm, have a look at this, have a look at this diamond. When I say I'm biased with canary diamonds, it's because I'm very lucky because I own one and it's my engagement ring. And it's, I, I absolutely adore it. I, I'm very lucky. I had a Pariba tourmaline for my, my promise ring and I nearly lost it. I don't know how many times because I always took it off uh, when if I was washing up or doing anything and my husband promised me a diamond and I got a canary coloured diamond. It chose me. I, I didn't know what I really wanted, but I saw it and I went, I have to have it. And mine has a black feather running through the centre of it and I love it. And it's that inclusion, it's that black feather that makes it mine. I had the chance to, to pick one of two and I went for the one with the feather in it because it was different, it was unusual and I adore it. And I wear it all the time, I live in it. Um, this is your special moment, this is your special opportunity. And I'm looking at these thinking canary diamond stud earrings right now. <laughs> Uh, quite what frankly, <laughs> um, and there are so many different shades of canary diamonds, yellow diamonds obviously, vivid yellow diamonds, so, so beautiful. You're looking approximately one in 16 and a half thousand carats mined being a yellow diamond. So they're rare, yes, they are rare. And they are growing in popularity, growing in popularity because some of the big celebrities have been wearing the yellow diamonds to the award ceremonies. Uh, uh, several of the celebrities have yellow engagement rings uh, and jewelry, but they have beautiful shine. I get so many compliments. I get so many people that notice my engagement ring because it's diff because it's yellow and it is because of that i know straight away people people a lot of people don't know what it is a lot of people have asked what it is believe it or not because we're maybe not exposed to them very often white diamond i think we all know what a white diamond looks like and they are gorgeous but when you go for the slightly different colors into the fancy colors it's jaw-droppingly exciting they are so beautiful and canary refers to pure yellow in diamonds, pure yellow with a strong uh, sort of uh, shade in there and, and the, the kind of the pure intense yellows that you're seeing in here and it gets its colour from nitrogen and we spoke about the carbon atoms, look at those, oh my word, oh how stunning, never, really? Seven, right, 70 points across the five gemstones, this is going to be amazing, this is going to be amazing. All of those, right, I can't even, I might even have to put that down. They are, how many do we have? They're, they're I think there may be a purchase here today. <laughs> Quite frankly, I think there's going to be a lot for you at home. The colour is stunning on those diamonds and they are all the same. And you will have a look, do what I'm doing, get, get your tweezers when you get these home and explore them. They are absolutely beautiful. Don't panic, as I said, if you get one or two little black spots within there, it, it's the carbon, it's the carbon within the stone. Do not worry about it. Do embrace it and love it and know that it will identify yours. 
I'm, I mean, you, can you imagine all five of those? That's exactly what I was thinking. Is that where you're going? Some study earrings. Well, well, you have maybe to get put two. three. <laughs> trilogy, three and oh, study earrings. Trilogy, they would look. Can I balance those? I probably won't be able to balance all of those on my finger. Will I? Should we have a go? It's certainly worth it. I mean, the matching, that's not going to happen, is it? The colour matching of those is going to be absolutely, I mean, they're, they're, they're utterly perfect to see all of those together. It's probably easier if I just line them up on the, uh, on the little... Um, pad actually is turn that one over they glisten i mean they sparkle like i don't know what you are going to have of course the perfect cutting the perfect faceting on those diamonds i mean nothing's really changed since the beginning since the early days of, of cutting a diamond marcel tarkovsky when that was originally devised and developed nothing's really changed in terms of the amount of facets the angles everything but those imagine those set <laughs> oh, wow. this is a really special treat isn't it three canary diamonds that you're seeing as a trilogy with then two left for a pair of earrings how ex for 99 pounds 95 pence i i would love i would love anybody out there right now to find me one of those canary diamonds set in a ring on your high street for 99.95 no there's my challenge there's no and way. you know what save yourself some time don't bother looking don't bother looking very well done to those if well it's it's you know it's we may as well um congratulations if you have just bought canary diamonds phenomenal um and lots more still to come at the other side of this we've got kyanite coming your way uh the other side of the break we've still got another fantastic uh kit to share with you another gorgeous demo don't go anywhere i'm just going to stay here and look at these diamonds see in a minute <laughs> Happy birthday to me! Now it's my birthday on Tuesday the 8th of January and I'm supposed to have the day off on my birthday but I thought, hmm, day off on my own or on the telly with my JM family so um, I do hope you can join me. I've also persuaded my lovely bestie, the lovely guest designer Mark Smith, to join me on The Late Show. We've got lots of goodies, lots of kits, lots of things coming up and birthday treats galore. So do please join Team Mays on Tuesday the 8th of January on The Late Show from 6 till 10. Are you new to jewellery maker? For a limited time we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, colour and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter 
and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. show one more hour with you this evening live and then obviously you can just carry on watching all night Ooh, bitch. Uh, we have a fabulous star by to share with you right now and it's a it's a goodie it's a goodie this is lovely really really bright beautiful colors uh, from your kyanite always always a popular strand um, and there's some lovely lighter hues look at those whites in there as well this is really pretty actually kind of dreamlike again I think this one Perfect, beautiful rounds uh, from your kyanite gemstones. 128 carats of kyanite, and they are eight millimeters. So nice size, gorgeous, gorgeous strand. And again, it's it's all about the quality of these. Now these come from Nepal, uh, probably from maybe from the Kaligandaki region of uh, of Nepal. That's where a lot of the kyanite tends to come from but it's very very hard to get hold of. It's a difficult gemstone to acquire. So it's come on quite a journey. Um, and actually even getting the gemstone, the formation of the gemstone um, happened many, 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 many years ago. And it was when Pangaea was forming, when, when all of the, 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 the earth was moving, might need both hands actually, um, when you've got all of the different sort of, um, all of the, the landscapes, you had sort of um, two of the, the landscapes coming together. And very often what happened with gemstones forming was those two land masses came together and they hit. Um, and something called subduction happens, so one kind of slides underneath the other, and that's how you often get sort of um, well, ha sort of uh, uh, eruptions and everything happening. But with this particular gem, I think it was in the Tetris Seaway, they hit and they rose and they went up and up and up, and that's how it created the Himalayas because they hit and they were both as strong as each other and they rose up. So this gemstone's been on a massive journey because it's gone, gone from underneath the sea and it's gone right the way up to one of the highest sort of places on the planet. So it's quite a sturdy gemstone. It's been on a terrific journey. And you think of that and then go, but you look as good as this. And it's fascinating. But then it's got to be, be sort of gotten hold of, mind brought down from that, that, that location. And then the faceting, the polishing... We see a strand like this, we forget that all of that's kind of gone on, yeah, don't we? We do. So much that's happened to create the gemstone, we're just presenting this to you tonight, and you're sitting at home thinking, oh, that's a lovely colour. But to know what's gone on behind the gemstone, I think is why we really love genuine gemstones. That, that's what makes strands like this so different. I love kyanite. It was a gemstone of choice for me for, for quite some time. Um, and I just I just find it fascinating. It's got dual hardness. It's what we call a polymorphic gemstone as well. So you might go in to cut it one way and it's at about four and a half on the most scale. Another side, it's seven. So it's really hard for a lapidarist to judge. But when it is cut, it's nice and stable and it's, it looks as perfect as this. But the glow that you get from, 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 the, from the gemstone when it's not fasted is so alluring that actually I, I, I love seeing kyanite when it's presented like this, when yes. it's not faceted. It is. It's mesmerised, isn't it? Isn't it? To look and see. It almost floats a bit like, like Labradorite, yes. doesn't it? It's so gorgeous. And I know you're expecting a higher price point on this. I would be completely. I, I would be. 
it's going under 30. <laughs> it's going under 30 pounds to 29.95. I know you would say that. 9 29.95. <laughs> um, it just sounds funny to me tonight. I don't know. I said it weirdly earlier on and now all I can hear is 29. Um, so 0800, that's why I'm saying under 30. Becky's being naughty in my ear, making me say nine. Oh, 0800 644. Thank goodness the phone number six double five. Uh, no nines. And jewelrymaker.com on the web if you want to check out on that but it's it's a wonderfully versatile gem i think because you've got those whiter sort of it's hard it's because they're not white flat it's really hard to describe actually just the different tones that it's you're like seeing a, it's within there like a silver isn't it mm. like an adventurescence or something that you're seeing within the stones but imagine it with pearls i mean it would work oh. really really well with pearls so beautiful so be i mean you could go lighter or you could go darker if you want to add a little bit of sparkle black in spinel, between maybe yeah. yeah love a bit of black spinel uh but for a price point like that it is i mean it's a high grade stone you can see all the way through on it uh but very very popular kyanite i think will always be always be very very popular uh from the word kynos meaning blue well it's it's a lovely tone a really really lovely shade of of blue and they feel absolutely wonderful color matched as much as you can obviously when you've got all of these different tones and shades coming in but you've got to see this if you haven't ever had the chance if you've never gone for kyanite I, I can totally advise i totally totally recommend this strand it's a beauty really really lovely opportunity uh, on that one so congratulations if you have checked out on that it's 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 pretty cool it's pretty lovely uh, so very well done indeed on that right we have a kit another kit for you so oh, there is so much in here oh my goodness me Right, Labradorite strand numero uno. Um, that's number one, Adam. Uh, then we've got... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> eh? What? Who? Oh, my goodness. This is like the gift that keeps on giving, this is. Right. Are you learning Spanish at the moment? Are you, wh why, is, why, is, why is that? Why did you decide to learn Spanish? Just something you wanted to do? Or... Self-improvement. There you go. There you go. Why not? Um, you can't improve on perfection, though, can you really, Adam? <laughs> right <laughs> Schiller Knights check that out Schiller Knights um, your Labradorite and your wire three wonderful wonderful examples of Labradorite and three absolutely gorgeous offerings actually you've got the larger of the Labradorite you've got the medium and then you've got the, um, the faceted on there as well uh, so you've got 25 carats of the fasted rondelles. That's on a 30 centimetre strand. You've then got 50 carats, uh, which are, am I getting this right? Yes. Yes. Yes, so that's the two by one to five by two also on a 30 centimetre strand. And then the um, larger of the stone, smaller strand, 24 centimetres, you're getting 90 carats of the graduated plain rondelles. All scrumptious, to be perfectly honest, but again, it's that... It, it, it's, it's that magical quality that you get from your Labradorite, which is unbelievably fabulous. You can see the blues in there. It's like looking, I always, I always say with Labradorite, that imagine sort of being in a forest at night and then the moonlight's cutting through the trees and you see all of the glimmer, uh, glimmers of blues. And the, I just, it's so, so magical, yes, isn't it? It is. It is. It's beautiful. It's like this. For me, I always think it's fairies trapped inside. <gasps> a fairies trapped inside. Yes. I don't know whether I like that or not. I feel a bit harsh not to the trapped. fairy. It's not trapped, like the little side. <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, <laughs> but it is, it's a poor little fairy. But it, it is, it's very, very magical, it, it isn't it? You can see, I mean, you've got blue flashes on there, you've got the yellows in there as well. Like peaches. That's wonderful, yeah. actually. So that's the three strands, then you've got the wire. So let's have a little look at that. You've got a collection of the three. Loads of wire. Lots and lots. And uh, three different gauges, I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and then you've got the one mil on there as well, which is more of your structural uh, wire. So you've got 10 metres of each, I do believe, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and one mil going up like so. If I turn them that way, you can possibly just see the ends of the wire. You'll see, that you, obviously, you've got the finer wire uh, at, the, at the, the, the front spool. I like saying spool. Mm. Uh, spool at your 0 0.4, and you'll see when you get that home, if I can just bring that out a little bit, your larger gauge, your one mil, that's always going to be your your it's structural, your structural yeah. Yeah, your that's support. Form your shapes and, and form your strength in, in, into 
your jewellery, but also the 0 0.8, that's an, also a structural wire, yeah. but you do have that little bit more malleability with that one as well. And then your, your smaller that's wire is more weaving, of your weaving you're wire, binding isn't it? together, you're adding your gemstones. So they're silver plated as well, so you've got silver plating on your copper wire so you're still getting a really really lovely finish on all of those and just super glow beautiful beautiful luster and again a lot of it so you've got 10 meters of each 30 meters of wire three strands of gemstones should be 37 pound 20. we are going under 20. wow yep i know that is unbelievably <laughs> fabulous isn't it we're going under 20 pounds and that's all I'm going to say. Under 20 for your Schiller Knights with your three strands of Labradorite, your 30 meters. 30, just, I don't know, pick one of those. Pick the wire on its own, 30 meters. 19.95, incredible. Pick the three strands on its own for under 20. Stunning. But all of them, everything together, six parts set to that for that price point. This is why we love the kits. You get so much. And look, I haven't seen those earrings. Oh, I like those. They're really cool. I do like those. Um, we've got some wonderful, wonderful jewellery again uh, that Katie has very, very cleverly uh, uh, designed and bought to us. Fantastic pendant necklace as well. That's a lovely, lovely piece. Some big pieces cute. and some sort of smaller, more subtle ones. The yeah. ring's really cute. Yeah. Really cute. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, five. six pieces of jewellery. Five little Labradorite gemstones in there to create that ring, sort of like a little half eternity. But the bangle, the bangle is amazing. I love that. Right. That's and the first thing I saw. It's just gonna, wonderful. We're going to demo that weave. Yay! So let's have a little look. We're going to have a little look at that. I'm sure, in the meantime, those of you that are checking out on the kit, what a bargain, quite frankly. Absolutely. Brilliant. That's wonderful as well. Goodness me. Right. And I still had lots and lots of gemstones left. I had lots of 0.8. I'm still using my original reel of the Oh, wow, mill. there's loads of that. I've just started the se my second sample of the 0.4. Wow, so, so it's gone a long way. I could have, I could have gone on and made, I made, I made. Mm. Made, okay. I made. I made, I made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just, I'm going to show you the Sorry, weave. Sorry, am I a bit close? Let me no, you're right, I don't need to. No. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to show you the weave and just how to ha add the gemstones. So I'm not making a full bracelet, so if you, I'm just the, the wires that I'm using are going to be shorter than you need. But if you want to make the bracelet, I would go with about 20, 22 centimeters of each of these, and that's okay. plen plenty to make, make you your cuff style bracelet. So it does have a gap at the back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've just got shorter pieces just for demonstration purposes. That bracelet I made with the 0 0.8, I'm using the one mil just because you can see it better. Okay, right. but you can make it with either. It will work perfectly with either. So it's a crisscross. It's lovely you that can is. See that there? Yeah. So the crisscross. So we're going to be working with two weaving wires. Okay, and we're going to make two sets and then join them, join them together. Okay. Okay. So we're going to work with four and four. So we're just going to move that one out of the way. Now, if you're doing the full length of the bracelet. You probably need about 120, 130 centimetres right. of each of your weaving wires. I've just got a short piece just for demonstrations. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to pick up our first um, base wire. I'm going to pop our wire underneath. I'm going to leave a short tail. So that's going to give us something to hold on to while we are wrapping. And we're going to pop on a few anchor wraps. So that's just a few wraps just over one wire. So we're just taking it around about two or three times and making sure you've pushed that up nicely with your fingernail so you've got some nice neat wraps on there okay don't be tempted to cut that off now because all it will do is just spin around right okay just leave that up okay so for this first uh, half of it we're going to work downwards so we're going to add our next wire underneath and our wire is coming from from underneath so it's coming back here and we're going to go around twice so around twice and then back up in between the two we just wrapped okay so working your wire back up in between those two and give it a little pull and push it up okay so we're going to add our next wire underneath again okay and we're going to wrap over the next two wires so we're not using this top wire <coughs> this time we're going to wrap over the, those two so the one we just wrapped and the new wire so up and around and then wrap over twice and then back in between where you just wrapped Okay, so we're just kind of going down in steps yeah. at a slight angle. Adding our next one, and then over those two. 
So one and two. Okay, and just for now, I'm just going to take that wire up the back and just leave it like so. Okay, so just make sure it's all nice and tight and then just pop that to one side just carefully. You don't want any of those wires to fall out. And then we're going to work with the next set. Okay. okay, so we're going to do more or less exactly the same but working up in the other direction. So, okay, so exactly the same to start. Pop in your wire underneath and wrap once, twice, three times. That's our anchor. Now this time we're going to pop our wires on top, so we're going upwards in this direction. So this is going, so before we added underneath, mm -hmm. now we've added on top, our wire's still coming from underneath, but we're going to wrap up and over those two. And again, in between the two we just wrapped. Okay, and then adding on top again, and again over those two, once and twice. And in between the two we just wrapped and then to our last one and doing the exact same again okay so we've got to that stage there and again I'm just going to pop underneath and just pull it in that direction okay okay so now this is the fiddly bit okay and we're going to join them together like so okay so uh -huh. this is the part where we choose which one was going to be the constant row down because we're going to have to skip from behind it. It will make sense in a minute. So what I've done, if I just move that out of the way for a second, all my rows, let's straighten it out a little bit, all my rows that have gone down in this direction are a continuation. It will make sense in a second. Right. So all the ones that are going upwards I've skipped behind for that middle wrap. Okay. Okay. So this one's coming down. I'm concentrating. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my coming down. So I'm going to continue with that that I did, that did before. So I'm going to come up. And if you can imagine, we're going to wrap those two, those two central ones together. Okay. So we're coming exactly as we did before. Those are the two we just wrapped. We're going to come up in between those two. Give it a nice push up together. And then we're going to wrap over the last one on this set and the first one on this okay. set to join them together. So one and two. And then again, exactly what we were doing before, we've wrapped those two together. We're going to come up in between the two we just wrapped. Okay. Let's just move that, that out of the way and just holding it out of the way so it doesn't confuse anybody. So we're going to continue bringing this all the way down. So again, wrapping over two, back up in between two, and over. I'm just going to continue doing that all the way down until I get to the very bottom. Now what you can do here, so now you've got these wrapped together, I'd probably do it at the end of this row, is if you can, if you have got some masking tape or um, a ring clamp or something like that, because I'm having to hold these really tight, so you can kind of see the, the sort of indentation on my thumb. That's kind of really, really yeah, tight yeah. to hold. So if you just pop some masking tape around that, it'll hold it all together too, and you don't have to grip it super okay. tight. Okay. Okay, so we're wrapping all the way down to the bottom there. Okay, so them t last two are wrapped. Now, the one this, this wire that's underneath here, what we're going to do is we're just going to take that around the back so what it's going to do is it's going to skip over that little wrap at the back there yeah so it's just going to okay. skip over the back of it and just think about we're going to wrap those top four again okay so that is where it's going to come through it's going to come through in between those four okay because we're not wrapping the mm. the top one and the bottom together because we've already done that wrap on the way down and we're just going to wrap those two together and back through and bringing it up to wrap the next two together and it's going to create our first cross okay, and wrap all the way to the top are you following this i am actually yeah <laughs> it's it's it, quite hypnotizing at the yeah. same time but I'm, I'm watching it thinking this is where it's really good that you can download these and watch these on youtube because yeah, yeah. i'd have you with me 
Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is a little, little bit more complicated wrapping with two wires, but once you kind of separate the two mm. and then think, if you keep joining them together all the way yeah. down, going in that direction, and then if you think when you're going upwards, that's when you're going to skip behind and wrap the top next two. So the next ones, all you're going to do is just start again by coming up. So we've gone over the top there, up in between those two, and start wrapping the next two down. And just remember, this is a really important point, so if we just get to this point, so wrapping over those two and the next two. Now we are wrapping all the way down, if you remember, on our downwards yes. ones, but don't wrap all the way down until you've got to the middle. Otherwise you won't be able to get in between your wires with this wire. Oh, of course. Yeah? yeah. So wrap to the middle, so wrap over the first four wires just take your wire straight up and underneath so it's, it's out of the way and then start wrapping upwards towards this one. Okay. So you're always working in two halves? Yeah, always working in two halves. Never think, oh, I, well, I could just continue yeah. that one because uh, it won't work. Okay, so, and then just start wrapping your next two. Just need to pull that one a bit tighter. So you're almost creating a diamond before yes. you move across. Yes. It's a good so way of thinking about it, actually. Wrapping up to those next two. And up to the middle. Now, obviously, when you're doing it, you can kind of hold it right in front of you, your face. I'm holding it down here, so it mm. uh, probably looks a little bit more fiddlier than it actually is. So once you get to that middle section and you know that you've got almost that diamond in there, we see that there? Yeah. Yeah. And then we can start, take that wire to that side and then continue wrapping with this top wire to come all the way down to the bottom and then the same again and it just continues on until you've got the length that you want and the effect of it's beautiful yeah it works it is. so it really so is well beautiful. And the gemstones are actually just added a little bit like sewing so mm. if i just uh, move on to that just for two seconds i'll just borrow a little piece of this wire okay so once you've got your longer section See, done that, that's lovely okay so all you're going to do is I'm going to poke it through. If you can remember, we've got four on the top and four on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to poke it through. Now what I would do is I'd probably wrap it a little bit on this side here, but just for time's sake, I'm just going to just pop that around there for a second. So my wire's coming up through in between one of those diamonds in, that f in between the four. So four base wires at the bottom, four base wires at the yeah. top. And then all it is is a matter of adding one of your gemstones which will all thread beautifully on. Let it drop down and then go back through the same gap. Okay, so back through the exact same gap and just take your time when it comes to sort of setting it in place that it sets upwards. Okay, so, and then just pulling that through and that's set in there. Lovely. And then all I did was just go all the way at all and just popped, with this tail end, I just popped a few wraps just yeah. at either end. Beautiful. It's as simple as that, to just, just to add them on. So you're skipping over to the next one, you're going to come up in between those, those there. So that's going to come, if I turn it that way, you can see it's come through. Yeah. And just make sure as well that you kind of put your thumb on your gemstone and make sure it, it sits nice and tight mm -hmm. so you don't get any loops at the back. And then continue adding your gemstones on. It's gorgeous. And it look. I mean, that bangle really looks expensive. Yeah. It's so fabulous, and yet you'd—if you were starting out, you, if you were just tuning in, you're looking at that, you'd be thinking, "How on earth do I even begin to do that?" So yes. this is why these tutorials, these the, are just amazing with the guest designers. A, the super talented coming up with the ideas in the first place, um, but to be able to watch the shows back, to to allow, uh, have a look at them on our YouTube channel, to go through that is yeah. so fabulous. It's you know, if you, paying for to have Katie in in your living room, basically, you 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 know, you're, you're having that for free, which is amazing she's very expensive uh, so it's amazing to be able to have those tutorials on how to yeah. be able to rewind or my, pause my or biggest tip if you've never done wire work before or you're just starting with, a, with wire work really take your time don't think oh I can just wrap 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 take your time and make every move yeah. sort of uh, a definite move rather than trying to rush it because mm. then you'll get a nice neat effect at the end it's lovely. It's beautiful. Okay. So grab your Schiller Knights kit uh, for under £20 and get going at that because you think you will love the end result. Thank you, my lovely. Well, uh, we're going to go straight into it. We've got another star buy coming up now.
Right, we've got a luscious Labradorite. Not Labradorite, that was Labradorite. Luscious Lapis Lazuli coming in for you right now. It's all the luscious lures going on right now. Um, very ancient gemstone, very beautiful, always popular. Always popular, and I think it's really easy to see why. Um, Lapis Lazuli, you've got a lot of it here, 96 carats worth. Um, shapes are wonderful, aren't they, oh, on this? Amazing shapes. I mean, again, that's just ready to go, isn't it, really? That's just a quick restrand, as far as I'm that concerned. That does look great, just, just as mm. it is, doesn't it? Yeah, really lovely. And you can really sort of see the different shapes and different sizes in there. You've got kind of like the, the central stone, if you like, on this particular strand. And you'll see all of those lovely little golden flashes that are coming out from every stone, actually. Um, but they're, they're different depths, they're different lengths, they're different widths, but they're all absolutely wonderful. And I think that kind of... It, it, I think encourages you to do different things with them almost. You could quite simply put it on a bracelet and I'd like one like that, please. Um, but when you look at the different gemstones on there, you could perhaps team two up that are very similar but still going to be slightly different. Drop earrings would work beautifully on some of the smaller yes. ones. And again, to wire wrap a ring, they're just so individual, every single one of those. And 18 centimetre strand, but it's the little, the little golden flashes that you're seeing in, within there that makes lapis lazuli so attractive on the eye, so stunning. And you can see it even works. You've got the golden flashes within there, but you've got the silver, like the little, the, the, the little sort of silver coloured sort of spaces in between there. Works with both. Yeah, I often use lapis with silver, mm. definitely. I think it's the, 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 the body the colour of the stone, there, the that blue. The coolness of the blue, mm. yeah. But then obviously the, the warmth of the gold, if, I mean, if you put gold in there, it looks really yeah, it luxurious. Really, it makes that pyrite really pop as well, Yeah, it? fabulous. And obviously lapis lazuli, again, has been around for hundreds, thousands of years. Um, and it was originally used as, as a pigment for, for, for blue. If people were, were oil painting or painting, they'd crush down the lapis lazuli and mix it with an oil. And it was used as a, that pigment was used as an oil. If you've ever been to Rome to the Hall of, um, the hall of Maps, have you ever been to Rome? Mm -hmm. oh, you've got to go, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, you go to the Hall of Maps and you walk down the corridor. It's so it's the longest corridor probably you'll ever go down. And all of the maps that you're seeing there, all of the, the blue and the oceans, all sort of sparkling. Oh, it's wow. lapis lazuli because wow. it was the paint, it was the pigment, and it's fascinating. You imagine you would expect it to be opulent, wouldn't you? There, to be fair, um, should be eighteen pounds ninety-five. We are going. Are you going to do a naughty little? She is. Should we chant it? Under ten, under ten, under. Took a took a bit of winding up that. We weren't very committed to that, were we? <laughs> really? In, the, in our ear, we're like under ten. We're like under. It's the ladies, that yeah. is. And apart from you, Becky, you're also like <laughs> under. Uh, <laughs> She's like that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, you just look, just, you would know, you, you were, you committed to it, Becky. I liked it. I liked it. It's Adam leading you straight. Uh, £9.95. I better run out of here at 10. 0800 644 655. Uh, on the telephone lines or on the web to add that to your order for under 10 uh, for 95 carats of lapis lazuli. Like these lovely different shapes that you're seeing on there. Um, just, just so, so, so lovely. And they are all really, really, really strong in terms of colour. There's Another nothing kind of wishy washy there. Things as well. Oh Amazing yeah, beautiful cufflinks. cufflinks. Yeah. And nice that they're different. Nice that you've got a pair of cufflinks, yeah. but the stones the stones don't have to match. Yeah, they don't have to. No. I mean, so many pairs of cufflinks are completely different. They've often got little sayings or yeah, slogans different, on different, or different, totally different things. Any, any yeah. But great for earrings, because earrings don't have to match. No, exactly. No, no totally. They're beautiful. So very well done on those. Under 10. Congratulations on your lapis. Right, let's dive into some of these boxes. Oh, there's a lot in here. Oh. Right, got another kit. My gosh! Wow, they are luscious. Wowie! Oh, oh my word! Wow. And um, if you got if you got the lapis, um, not the lapis. If you got the, I'm mixing up my lapis. I can't do lapis lazuli and labradorite together. <laughs> um, if you got the previous kit, you have to get this as well. Simple as that. We, I mean, let's just let's just go in to the big big dogs. Look at these. I mean, you've got to, haven't you, really? Oh, I'm going to drop it. Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh. No, I'm not falling. Don't worry, I'm nailed to the, the floor. I'm not yet. Uh, <laughs> <I'm> so... <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm 
getting so many messages in tonight going, love to see you. Nothing. Are you belted in? Are you screwed down? Are you not going here? I'm like, I'm never going to live this down. <laughs> Quite rightly so, it was hilarious. Uh, uh, right, Aurora Borealis, brand new, 620 carats. That is spectacular. Utterly good. The blues in there, my wordy. I mean, that's Them a blues, full on. It's not just that, they're all the way yeah. along. They're amazing. All the way around. My goodness me, I mean, that's a, that's a big, big, big feature for the neckline, isn't it? Let's bring them down and have a little look, because there's a lot of stains. Gosh, they are fabulous. They're, I mean, they are electric. They are absolutely electric. Every one. It's me. You need to see this. You need to see these at home. They sparkle. They literally sparkle from within. Oh, look, I haven't even noticed. Look at the gems in between. Yeah. That's like an added bonus. I didn't even... Well, I, I, I mean, you, you've got these huge slices, huge slabs of Labrador. I didn't even notice you've got the little faceted rondelles in between as well. That's amazing. That's on its own. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? Can you see in there? You've got like almost different levels in the crystal. Yeah. This is divine. And no wonder we've called it the Aurora Borealis. It's like the northern lights are within there. Fabulous colours. We've only got 10 of these remaining. That is it. And that is, well, that isn't it actually. That's only one of the strands. You've got, I know they are incredible. You've got a second strand of Labradorite in there as well. So you've got the full on, beautiful big fasted slabs on a 38 centimetres um, strand and that had the graduated plain bicones in there as well it's like a double bubble um, and then you've got this fantastic fantastic strand in here as well this is amazingly awesome absolutely amazingly awesome i'm just checking on here i can't see the details for this strand on here i'm just checking so we've got the faceted slabs we've got the graduated plain bicones and we've got the silver plated wire they're the bicones. I think these are just an added extra, aren't they? Yeah, they they are bicones. These are like a, a crystal, aren't they? Oh yes. Yeah. Just yeah. double checking. Just your face of confusion. Yeah. Okey doke. So there's your two strands. Well, that they're just in there for free. They're lovely, though, these aren't are they? Amazing. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then you've got your copper wire. So silver plated. Plated, I don't know if I said it like that. Uh, silver plated copper wire. Um, and you have, you've got your uh, one millimeter, you've got your 0.4 and your 0.8. So let's do it that away around, there we go. Uh, and you've got 10 meters, 10 meters, and 0.4 meters of the one mil. Um, but yeah, fabulous they are. Now, is that the pearl colored as well? I've got pearl colored wire. Let me just check. Can I have the details on there again, honeybee? Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, we've got pearl. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is wow. the pearl colour. I love oh, pearl. Oh, this is like the gift that keeps on giving. This one is. That is lovely to work with. You can see the difference, can't you? This. Oh, How nice this is kit. this? Are you running off again in a yeah. minute? <laughs> you're only allowed one run off. That's all you're allowed. Um, not many remaining at all. Uh, £24.95 for all of this. Um, you wipe those, those on, on the, I've got to say, on their own. That strand is £24.95 for all of those. I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, uh, approximately sort of sixteen, seventeen stones. I can't get over the colours. I the can't get over the blues in there. Are amazing. Really, really electric. Look at that. Look at them. Every single <laughs> one of those are electric blue, apart from one that's like a gold flash. Yep. They are unbelievably, unbelievably perfect. Uh, literally the last couple of those available at a price like that. And one set of posting packaging, of course, all day uh, to utilise and add to your order on. That's pretty amazing, quite frankly. The colours in there are glorious. And because you've just, I've never seen blues quite like that. Oh, four left, that's it. Oh, we've only got four left, four remaining, four last chances. Sorry, Katie Pointer. No, that's a great kit. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Pointer. <laughs> when someone says you're with Katie Parker, but Katie P, Katie Pointer. It's quite good, that is, isn't yeah. it? Quite Katie Pointer. Sounds real. No one will ever know. Somebody will be searching for that on Facebook now. <laughs> <laughs> Very own Katie Pointer. Um, well done. Moving on. Congratulations on those ones. Lovely. Box number two. Great colours in here as well. We love yes. it. You can't go wrong with these. Can't go wrong with <gasps> Look these. At them amazing patterning wonderful wonderful stones great size 
beautiful sort of organic uh, stones. Uh, but your agates that you've got here, every single one is gorgeous. And of course, with Botswana agate, the banding that you get in there is just beautiful. All of the different shapes uh, it, that are created from the patterning within there. Again, it's a miracle when you see these kind of stones. To think that these have come from Mother Nature is just it, they're fascinating you can sit and look at that strand all day and forever in a day and the faceting every single one's like a disco ball when you're seeing the luster coming from those gemstones just utterly scrumptious really lovely and you could pick out i mean look at that on its own yeah. wonderful sort of honey almost like american fire opal tone right the way through on that one but these silvers these grays are absolutely beautiful aren't they but look at the faceting it does make a difference it does obviously the plain rounds look gorgeous with the agates anyway but when you have the additional fasting like that really brings them to life and we're at 16 pounds 95 16 pound 95 on botswana agate gemstones we are talking a whopping great 360 carats of gemstones and they are they're probably one of the easiest gemstones to wear aren't they because they just yeah. go with yeah absolutely they're gonna, everything they go with absolutely everything they're gonna work at any, any time of the year yeah easy just i mean that strand just knotted i know it'd be a really mm -hmm. heavyweight strand but beautiful. nice though really, really nice beautiful. you can separate them out yeah. on, a, on a long strand as well if you wanted to always great for stretchy bracelets we never get tired of those no. um they're fabulous very very well done indeed on those ones congratulations right box number 14 we have some coons oh wow we do indeed a nice color really really nice color on those wow gosh Ooh. These are lovely. Final six chances, though. Not many of those. Well, that's not a surprise, is it? When you're seeing kunzite that looks like that. Really. Now, do I, do I want to say baby pink? Do I want to say it's more than that? Uh, cotton, sort of candy, candy floss yeah, pink? It's, it's a look. I think because you've got the opaque nature to the gemstones, it kind of brings that, that baby pink colour forward somehow a little bit. Almost like slight sort of lavendery tones yeah, coming got, through. it's got that sort of lavender touch to it hasn't mm. it it's not lavender it's definitely a pink but it's yeah, just got it's that like almost undertone, an undertone <gasps> very lovely 110 carats and a really well known gemstone a much celebrated gemstone as we know your brazilian kunzite named after uh, george frederick kunz who was one of tiffany's chief gemologists i mean it's never dated it will always be i think one of the quintessentially most feminine gemstones on the planet i mean i'm biased i love pink as a as a gemstone i just love pink end of story uh but it is absolutely superb to present 38 centimeters of kunzite like that it's so rare it's so difficult to come by right now you can pay through the nose for really good quality kunzite gemstones because it's not that they're just there forever and a day we don't know we don't know what mother nature has hiding on the planet we, we people hit a pocket or a seam of a gemstone mining happens but it might run out today it might run out next wednesday you don't know but when it happens you don't know if you're going to find another seam again um it is a high regarded gemstone much loved by the boutiques and the celebrities and it's gone down to 49.95 wow. there's a lot of precious gemstones in that a lot i think i'd be tempted to to use them kind of section by section personally nice with some jade out wouldn't it have a look really nice with your jadeite so i'm addicted yeah. oh, that Ooh. i'm addicted to jadeite still can't literally can't get enough of it i need that please um <laughs> they are so so i missed out on those missed out on those uh but yeah they look absolutely beautiful together they really work there's a really sort of calming yeah. feel as well to those isn't there they're gorgeous. Really, really nice. So let's stay with the pink gemstones. Let's go. Can't go. Can't have enough rose quartz. Nice sizes. They feel amazing as well, those do. Huge nice pieces. Glowy ones. They are glowy ones. They're lovely. And, and different, slightly different shapes on them as well. Rose quartz, medium tumbles. Uh, 11 by 12 millimetres to 15 by 12 millimetres on a 38 centimetre strand. And I mean, such a great variety of gemstones, of course, that you're seeing on this. And, and if you're used to seeing these gemstones, you know we do special prices on them. If you've joined us for the first time, maybe you've been uh, lucky enough today to obviously find us on Freeview. Uh, we're now obviously on Freeview 24 hours. Yay! 
and if you've retuned your, 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 your TV and you found us, uh, it's lovely to have you there. Do spread the word that we are live on Freeview 24 seven now. So even more chances to stay with us and see the madness on the latest shows. Uh, 300 carats of Rose Quartz. It's such a special piece. And this is a bargain, an absolute beautiful bargain for £8.95 love it and if you are selling your jewelry you can never go wrong on your jewelry uh, your jewelry shows to have on your stand an, um, an amount of, of stretchy bracelets because they, they they always go don't they, they always always go and gemstones that people know so you, you yes quartz, your amethyst your tiger's eye things like that yeah totally and, and eight pounds 95 you would get two bracelets out of that full on well please don't sell one of those for half that price never mind oh, one of those yeah. for all of that price uh because they're real gems you 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 know what you've got here is the privilege of working with something that's been created over hundreds and hundreds of, of years thousands of years if not millions of years on a lot of cases so <laughs> wonderful work on those as well one more we can do definitely number six number six number six well, what could be more perfect with rose quartz? Gosh, that's good. Uh, than a smoky quartz gemstone. This is delishamundo. Will I be able to get that out with my tweezers? I won't even try. I'll, I'll, I'll give it. I don't, I'll get, she's got the she's got the got fingers for it, you see, and the tools. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this doesn't stick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, hello. See, look at that. Straight in there. That pointy <laughs> finger was straight in there. Katie, pointy finger. Oh, she was there. Oh, the whole shaboodle. I, don't, I think it might. I think there's a fair chance it might stick, to be honest with you. I don't. Right, let's give that a little bit of a buffage. I'm just going to rest that on my hand. Um, you have a rather large <laughs> eight carat. I could lose it now. Eight carat smoky quartz, Roman cut, round, brilliant cut. 40 millimeter gemstone. Are you talking about me now? <laughs> <laughs> Ruth Poorhand. Ruth Poorhands and, and Katie Pointy Finger Parker. I have got slightly large paws. Pardon? Big bird. I am big bird. I'll always be big bird. Yeah, that's I can cope with that. Uh, eight carats of smoky quartz and the clarity is gl just glorious, isn't it? You've got that rich sort of smoky uh, tone to it, but you've got the sort of the caramels and the and the coffees and the lattes that you're seeing sort of within that. And Roman cut as well is amazing. I'm trying to hold that without my rather large paws in the way. Uh, £12.95. That is just phenomenal, isn't it? How would you work with that, Katie? I would probably go for a prong set on that. Yeah, prong set ring so. or a prong set uh, pendant because it's definitely big enough for it to be a pendant. Yeah, totally, totally, and it really does sparkle from within, doesn't it? And again, you don't have to kind of set it um, as as it's meant to be. You could always flip that the other way as well. You'd flip that the reverse so you can see all of those. I mean, look at that, all of the facets that you've got within there. Big size that one as well. Big size your eight carat gemstone. That's really cute at twelve pounds ninety five. So well done indeed on that one. Let's pop that one back into its little box and we are going to uh, we're going to do a quick recap we're a, going to do a quick recap of the deal of the day right here right now as a start by Okay, have a little look. Have a little look at this gemstone. I mean, it's, it's, it's been designed here. It's been put onto a necklace and it looks really, really pretty. Uh, so let's have a little recap of the deal of the day. Wonderful, wonderful colours that you're seeing within there. Doesn't that look gorgeous on the necklace? You've just got the little spaces every now and then between every three of those gemstones. This is so gorgeous and it's a pink to reddish variety of the mineral zoisite. So we, we spoke about zoisite um, a little bit earlier on. Well, here you've got it in a really, really gorgeous form. Now, I'm just going to get the strand for you so we can focus on that a little bit up close and personal. If I move that to the side, pretty necklace, isn't it? And that really shows you how pretty. simple yeah. a necklace like that can be and how effective 
that can be. So let's have a little look at those colour tones. Um, I, I kind of think about road crescent and think of all those kind of colours when I see that. Some really, really lovely tones coming through. And it's a gemstone that's rarely seen actually in commercial use. You don't see it that often, to be perfectly honest. And I'm sure, if, again, if you walked into sort of your high streets, you probably wouldn't come across this particular gem. Um, it's from Norway. It was coming, I think it was discovered in Norway actually in the early 1800s. And it's their national gemstone. And it's got a lovely... It's got a lovely silky luster to the gemstone, but sometimes you can kind of look at it and think it's got kind, kind of like a, a sparkly sort of uh, luster to it, but it's certainly wonderfully bright in terms of colour and tone. The polish is fabulous on it, and it for me, I mean, I, I, lo I like the size of that as well. You've got the six mil, and I just think it's really flattering against the skin tone. It is really flattering. It's so pretty. I think one of those colour tones that, that regardless of whether you're sort of slightly darker or lighter of skin tone, a bit like Morganite in that respect, it works. I think it's very flattering. I don't think it will kind of, you get some gemstones and you think, oh, is that one going to maybe wash me out or is that too strong? Is that too pale? I just think because yeah, of those colour tones. pink gemstones, you're either a pinky pink girl or, yeah. you know, you don't like it. But that, I think that would work with anybody. I think even people that don't generally, wear, I don't generally wear pink, but I would wear that, definitely. I think, and I think it's because you've got the, you've got the reddish tones coming through as well, because it is the pinky sort of reddish tones of the zoisite. We had the, the flat pear shape drops yes. earlier on from the, the, with the red zoisite. It's, it's a similar thing, isn't it? It's a similar thing, but you've got so many Fabulous, fabulous colours in there as well. It absolutely works from the Thulite -like gemstones. Uh, 58 carats. Again, we're not going small on this one. Uh, and you can see, actually, if we bring the tassels into, uh, into shot there, it kind of does pick out the kind of almost whitish sort of marbling that you're seeing without necessarily kind of consciously noticing. You've got that almost marbling effect running through the stones. So it's going to work with a lot. It is. And we, as I say, we did it on that necklace and it looks perfect. I'll show that to you again. I'll bring that back in uh, so you can have a little look. Just simply on, on a chain, a couple of spaces in between there. And that looks That's so beautiful. expensive. It looks very, very expensive. Stunning, isn't it? I would go, yeah, at sort of sterling silver with that yeah. personally. I just think that really works. Again, maybe because you've got perhaps the sort of white sort of flashes yeah. within there. Strawberries and cream, isn't it? Oh, now you've hit it. Yes, absolutely. Mar it's almost like that kind of marbling yeah, effect. you get that eaten mess or something like that. Oh, I'm really hungry. Don't. <gasps> Becky Star, she says, I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm trying to be good tonight. Trying to be good tonight. Uh, Leah keeps offering out cookies. I'm like, no, I'm being good. We've had we've had bananas we've so and we've good. had a lot of fruit and things tonight that we don't really want. Uh, but yeah, strawberries and cream, yummy. Or maybe rhubarb in there. Oh, rhubarb, rhubarb colour tones as well. Yeah. Oh, anyway, yummy. Um, either way, this strand. Fabulous price point, absolutely fabulous. And um, losing pounds like that down to 19 pounds under 20. Uh, 58 carats for your Thulite -like gemstone on the phone lines and on the web. That is a definite add to your order. I would just, I would really just love a stretchy bracelet with that yes. as well. Probably just with one, <coughs> excuse me, maybe a little sort of silver charm in the center. Yeah. Or maybe just you kind of take out a little bit of a section and focus on, or a little charm sort of coming away from that yeah, as well. Definitely. I love the colour tone of that. Really, really like that one. Um, if you've never seen it before, if you like the look, give it a go. As we said, if you're not normally a pink princess, if you're not normally a going for the pink gemstones, I think that will work. I think that will really, really work. So you've got those wonderful sort of red <laughs> tones in there as well. £19.95 for a wonderful example of this particular gemstone. It's so, so pretty. Very elegant, but actually quite refined at the same time. But it's, it's the marbling. You look a bit closer. There's actually more colours in that than there as well. You've kind of got these wonderful sort of greys and silvers yeah. that are coming out. Each one, totally different. Look at that one. That's lovely. That's yeah. a lighter one. That's really cute. You just pop, pop, literally pop one of those on a little little pendant, little push, drop push earrings. bracelets, just a single Cute. one. Really yeah, nice. really, really nice. Um, but 18 centimetres strong, because as I say, it's quite a rare gemstone, this one. It might, be not what, it might not be one you've come across, actually, too often, but really nice to see that tonight uh, as a bit of a recap. So if you've missed out on that so far tonight, make sure you don't miss out on that a second time, because it's too beautiful. It's too, too lovely. Uh, so congratulations if that is in your basket. Make sure you're checking out on that one because it's so, so cute. Uh, so very, very well done indeed. Right, let's pop that one there. Right. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, three of them. 
Oh, wow, they're a bit nice. They are. I don't think I've seen these. Oh my gosh, they're lovely. What beautiful colour tone. Aren't they gorgeous? Blue opals. Oh my word, they are very nice. Blue opal from Australia. 6 mil, 8 mil, 10 mil, and they're all on 16 centimetre strands. They are very, very high grade indeed. The colour tones, the blues and the silvers and the greys that are all coming together, that is amazing. I think this is going to be that sort of pastel blue, that lighter, brighter blue. I think that's going to be a really, really popular colour again this year. I mean, it never, a blue never goes out of fashion, does it? But, um, oh, in fact, did you see, um, it was Golden Globes, wasn't it, last night? Did you see photographs of Lady Gaga's oh, dress? I haven't seen anything yet. No. Well, that, take that blue. Wow. And that's the kind of colour dress that she wore. It was huge and it was elegant and it was oh. amazing. Oh, I should be looking on my way home. Yeah, it was amazing. And her hair was about that colour as well, obviously. It's, like, wow. it's Lady Gaga. Yeah. I won't give any spoilers then as to who won what and all the rest of it. Do you know any of that? No. I won't say anything then. I won't say. But it's never, it's not on the UK telly, is it? No. Really, no. yet the red carpet stuff. But yeah, that's us really not. annoyed. I love it. Um, the, oh, you have to watch it. Uh, so, uh, 244 carats, but I do think that's going to be one of the colours of the, yeah. this year again. I really do. Oh, I so said, if we'd have known she was wearing that dress, we could have, you could have whipped her up a yeah, necklace or something. Yeah, I could. I think she wore several million pounds worth of, of <gasps> Tiffany diamonds, but yeah. We could have, we could have, we could have called we could have Katie her. Parker. Uh, two, <laughs> 240, Katie Pointer. 244 carats, 0800 644 on those three fabulous graded strands. I mean, again, you've got those lovely sort of banding, like literally like banding, uh, banded agate when you see those wonderful, wonderful sort of um, patternings within that. They are fabulous. I don't think I've ever seen them like that. Again, the more you look at them, the more intriguing they are. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, they work so, so well together. You'd have to do something with a mix of all those sizes, I think. They're glorious. £24.95. If you are enjoying those, absolutely go for it, because they are, they are really special, actually. They're really lovely. I think we can do a fluorite auction. I think we've got to. So many lovely colours. Fluorite's got, it's got its own personality, hasn't it, fluorite? Oh, yeah so many lovely colours in there as well and it's kind of got like a, a bit more of a matte luster to this particular strand if that makes sense um, there we go so you've got those lovely and and by by rights fluorite isn't a glowing gemstone normally ordinarily uh, it has to be really really well polished to look as good as this one and then of course it fluoresces when you see it in in certain lighting conditions you will get that fluorescent uh, glow from the gemstones lovely lovely greens and purples there's even some kind of yellowy tones yeah. in this one so you never know really obviously every strand is going to be different but you can also see what i really love about this strand is you can see the kind of purple thread running through the gemstones so you can pick out the purples you can pick out the the more sort of turquoisey green tones Tones, completely your call cool. um, but it is fantastic fluorite it's again quite unisex gemstone sometimes yeah, definitely these shapes though look be beautiful in like your cascade type earrings very and nice lots, lots of gemstones or a cascade pendant yeah they are adorable really nice to work with really easy to work with as well uh, but a hundred carats there six by five to ten by seven millimeters on a 38 centimeter strand and one of your last auctions in the live show tonight get out of here Get out of town. Three pounds twenty-five. Taxi for Becky. Three twenty-five. That's an incredible, incredible opportunity. All of those for that. That's wonderful, actually. Again, that could be one to add to your order. If you have tuned in, if you have joined us for the first time tonight, maybe you've uh, found us on Freeview. We're now live twenty-four seven on Freeview. Whoop! Uh, then add that to your basket. Uh, get checking out on that. We're not. We, well, we're disappearing it, uh, in just a couple of minutes. But obviously, you can carry on watching the shows uh, from this morning right the way through the night until we're live again in the morning for Zena's birthday deals tomorrow. Uh, that's going to be very, presumably. Zena's on the late show, isn't she? Again, that's her. Yeah, she'll be back with you at six. Oh, bless her. Birthday bananas. Goodness knows what's going to be going on tomorrow, then. <laughs> All sorts of shenanigans tomorrow night. Oh, oh, I will be watching. I'm off tomorrow, so I will be watching. I'll be at home with a gin celebrating her birthday. 
be rude not to, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Rude not to. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so well done. Add that to your order and congratulations on whatever you've bought today and whatever you've purchased, whether it's been one of the kits, whether it was the deal of the day, the one to earn amazing, amazing gemstone. Uh, you've done very, very well on each and every single one of those. So fabulous job on a £3.25. That's like, oh, well, if you've made an order, just chuck it in your basket. You might as well, really. Might as well. But they are just lovely. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Katie Park. Yes. Thank you very much. I won't say Katie Pointy Finger Park. Well, I might do. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's been lovely to work with you. Really? Hopefully you'll say the same. Um, when are you back with us, Dom? Uh, the 17th Late Show. Oh, fabulous. Is that, is that next is that Friday? Right? I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. Uh, so look out for Casey then. I'm back with you next Sunday. I don't, know if that's, don't know if that's good news or bad news, team. Back with you Sunday bad. night. Bad news. Bad, are you ill that night, Adam? Are you ill? Uh, Adam's ill. Becky's washing her hair. But Leah's in. Oh, okay, it's me and you. Oh, you're not. You're ill. She's ill. Um, it's been lovely to have you company. Remember, you can join us 24 hours on Freeview. And it's been wonderful to be with you tonight. Safe journey home, my lovely. It has been a joy pleasure, too. as always. <laughs> Take care, sleep well in your beds, and we'll see you bright and early for the live show again at 8. But carry on watching. Bye bye. Are you new to jewellery maker? For a limited time, we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, color, and type will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Happy birthday to me. Now it's my birthday on Tuesday the 8th of January and I'm supposed to have the day off on my birthday but I thought, hmm, day off on my own or on the telly with my JM family, so um, I do hope you can join me. I've also persuaded my lovely bestie, the lovely guest designer Mark Smith, to join me on The Late Show. We've got lots of goodies, lots of kits, lots of things coming up and birthday treats galore. So do please join Team Mays on Tuesday the 8th of January on The Late Show from 6 till 10. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then